Hello, can you hear me okay? Why is it so unsettling? It's fine. It's just the it's just the background tones of the Wii U menu, right? It's all right. Party poppers might uh, give me a bit of a heart attack. I tried to dampen the sound there. <laughs> they like scare the shit out of me when they go off. Oh god, how are you all doing though? Are, are you well? Can you hear me okay? I feel like we did something wrong. <laughs> no, it's o it's okay. It's okay. You're all right. You can hear me okay. How was Porter Robinson? Oh, Porter was amazing. Uh, I got a fist bump from him, and Josie got the set list, uh, which was really cool. It was the actual one on stage that he had. That was good fun. Oh, I had an amazing time, yeah. What secrets are we going to learn today? Well, that's the thing, I can actually talk about my birthday now because the NDAs are all up, right? <laughs> yeah, so, like, it's a very weird, like, kind of situation that came about, but we get to go into it. We're going to talk about it a bit at the start of the stream, and uh, then we're going to do some Wind Waker, okay? I actually get to tell- because uh, I've legally not been allowed to tell you what I did for my birthday until today. <laughs> Which is wild. Now, don't- I, I, I had a- had a wonderful time. It was incredibly fun. It's just the nature of doing something that was surprisingly sponsored for? Um, but it came up and it was just like, okay, I'm down for that. But now you can't talk about it for a week. Legally. Yeah, so like a non-disclosure agreement. It's just, it's a it's very standard thing. It's like basically you sign a form that says you don't talk about a thing until the embargo, uh, like kind of passes. It's, it's very, very common for sponsor stuff. Uh, happens all the time. Uh, but this one was just funny because this happened on my birthday. And it was quite a significant aspect of what my birthday was. And I've not been allowed to talk about it until today. I just want to give people a chance to get to the stream before we get going. It sounds like you murdered someone. I didn't murder anyone. Um, but it's related to crime. <laughs> it's not helping my case, is it? <laughs> I've just had fun teasing this, because, like, the more, like, the more details I give, like, the more horrific it this sounds. Like, what the fuck did you do? It's related to crime, though. <laughs> oh God, uh, let's see how you're all doing. We're gonna we're gonna just like kind of uh, chat and chill uh, for a little bit. Did you crash Point Crow's uh, car? No, I did not. I had nothing to do with that. <laughs> uh, it's related to crime. Uh, specifically, it's related to the Mafia <laughs> and mobs is a better way of maybe describing it. <laughs> like, again, this sounds wild. I, I just love, like, the context surrounding all this. Like, I haven't even said what it is, but people are like, what the fuck did you do? <laughs> I love that. Um, so let's dive on into it. Uh, I was sponsored to, like, go to, like, a 1920s-themed birthday party that was mafia-themed, uh, with five different mafia families, and, uh, this was all to do, uh, with Magic the Gathering, who have a new set. They asked me and my friends to come out, basically, to play it for my birthday, uh, in London. They popped us all out there, and we actually had a wonderful time. It's wild that I haven't been able to talk about. This is why it's related to crime. In case people are wondering why I've had, like, pictures of me on my Twitter and stuff like that, and why I haven't been able to mention what's actually going on. Uh, we were at a mafia-themed party in London. Um, and they just wanted us to play their new cards. And, like, there's some wild things that happened in this. We met Ross Kemp. I don't know if people know Ross Kemp. Um, he's, like, a hard man. He's known for, like, some acting on EastEnders, but he's also done a lot of serious, like, documentaries where he goes to, like, Afghanistan. And a lot of other places like that. Uh, we got to meet him. And there's a wonderful moment in the night. Let me get this up. I have like that. You're going to be seeing like my little like photo album that I've got. Because I, I just want to like kind of like properly explain what's going on. And like kind of give context for some of this. 
Oh, that's, uh, hang on, let me just, uh... Let me rotate this picture real quick, hang on. Hang on. Oh, it's not letting me. Why isn't it letting me? Come on, let me, let me rotate it. It doesn't want to move. Uh... There we go. Uh, so here's, like, Tom and the gang with Ross Kemp, and there was a wonderful moment where, uh... Well, like, Spiff had to explain how to play Magic the Gathering, uh, to Ross Kemp, uh, who was here recording a documentary while we were all just, like, kind of out for the day for, like, a birthday and drinks. Like, this was just a really wild thing that happened. Uh, but I loved it. We were all dressed up. Yeah, it was fancy dress. It was 1920s theme. I, I have, like, like, I have, like, a lot of travel pictures. I want to show you these. I have, like, a bunch of them. Here's me and Spiff. Having a fine and dandy time. Like, ba yeah, so basically we were invited to like a ballroom and it was just like basement bar. And what happened is uh, during the event, like there would be people in full on in costume to represent the different families from Magic. And they'd be talking to us about like, are you interested in crime? Do you want to sign up? It was a weird kind of improv role play that was happening <laughs> while we were there. And like we were just drinking wine and that and then we were being like kind of asked like, hey, what kind of, what kind of crime do you like? Larpin, yes, there was Larpin. Uh, like it was, I had like a se I had several people from like the families, like full on in costume, come up and wish me a happy birthday, just like under the table, real hush hush. You know, they didn't want anyone to know that they were doing it. Apparently, I have a lot of extended family that I wasn't aware of that all reside in London and are involved with intricate crime rings. <laughs> oh God. What did you say for your favorite crime, Dad? Well, I'll get to that. Uh, I'll get to that because I, I actually betrayed one of the families that I like, kind of signed me up uh, almost immediately uh, because one of the lads was so dapper and he really just kind of swayed me while we were there on the day. I want to show you. Hang on. This is the lad here. He was from, I believe, oh, it's the vampire family, the maestros. And I left someone else's family specifically so I could join the, this dapper lad. I abandoned another guy who was there. Um, and so, and I had like this pin from the event that the other guy kindly gave me because I joined his family. Uh, and I just put it in a pocket and I've, I've never like taken it out again. Um, so I'm, uh, as far as we're concerned for like the maestro family, I'm like a man on the inside who's infiltrated the other family now. And he came round to me later when we were playing the game, right? And like, cause, cause we were there to play magic. Like, I, for those who don't know, I'm, I'm a bit of a magic nerd. Uh, I got into it last year. Wizards of the Coach approached me for it and I've been playing it ever since. Uh, but there was a hilarious moment where we were all sitting down playing magic, right? And the guy from the family who I had signed up to previously came up to check on how his beloved new family member was doing. And he looked at my cards on the table and like, he had the biggest smile and it turned to horror. <laughs> and he was just like, what? What? Uh, uh, hang on. <laughs> like, he was actually, he was taken aback at the event. Because I betrayed him. And I had to, like, then backtrack and say, like, I'm so sorry, you know, you're like a distant cousin to me. But this other guy, he's so dapper. He swayed me. So I betrayed, he was, he was devastated. And he just walked away. Like, like he just walked off. Uh, I believe Spiff was you was still part of his family and actually had his deck of cards. Uh, he just walked over to him. Not a word. Couldn't take it. <laughs> it was it was actually like a kind of wild event. Like I have more pictures here. I'm just gonna get some of these up. Um, but yeah, like, because of like the nature of it. Here, here, like, here's one of kind of just, like, the overall, like, bit of, like, the ballroom. You can kind of see some of it. But, like, the event was really cool. Like, basically, it was 1920s fancy dress. Uh, like, Wizards of the Coast, like, all took us into, the, like, this 1920s-themed bar. We learned a lot about new cards coming up for the game, which is all cool. It's all mafia-based. It's all about crime. It's all about families. And then they were like, okay, these cards aren't out yet, but we have them here. Uh, go have fun and play. Also, Ross Kemp's floating in the background, and he might come up and say hey at some point to you. <laughs> um, which was, it was all just kind of wild and just a lot of fun. Honestly. 
Uh, which was your original family? It was the Riveteers. I believe they were a red, green, and black family. And I left them for the Maestros, which I believe were red, black, and blue. It's so wholesome and bizarre. Like, that's the thing. Like, this was a really weird thing. Um, because, like, the, like, the sponsor offer for this, like, kind of came in. And it was just like, like, we've done stuff with Magic before on the channel. Uh, but, like, I mentioned specifically it was my birthday for it. And then they were like, oh, sure, get some of your friends. Like, they were so chill about it. So that's how we got, like, Spiff and Kiwo. And, uh, we got, like, the entire gang just, like, kind of involved. It's like, yeah, do you want to just have, like, a Magic the Gathering birthday? Basically. Like, it's the nerdiest thing I could have possibly done for the day. <laughs> like, oh my god. But, it, it was amazing. Like, it was so much fun. And, like, it feels weird that, like, like uh, this was, like, a sponsored thing for me to even do. Because, like, this was just, like, a really fun event. But they, like, kind of got us all out there. They put us up in a hotel and that. Um, it was kind of bizarre in that way. But, like, I had an amazing time. Uh, it was really, really lovely. Yeah. Those guys are very nice. Dan's dripped out. <laughs> How is the set? How does it play? Um, oh, God. I mean, there's a lot of variants there. Like, uh, so the maestros that I were playing, um... I mean, they had a lot of, like, kind of mechanics, like, kind of standard black mechanics where you're trading health and resources to kind of get a bit more edge on the board. Uh, I know the privateers, from what I saw of them, are very much just kind of, you rush the board and dominate everything. That's kind of like red-green playstyle for a lot of them. You have a lot of big boy dragons with that set. Uh, so it's just kind of dominate the lot. Uh, the maestros are really cool, like, and the ones I like the most. I think I, I can show, I can show these now, because, like, I have, like, pictures of some of the cards that we pulled. We got, like, some special like collector ones too like very schnazzy but, like the theme about them was that they're all art thieves and they're also like vampires which is just like really cool shit basically uh and like the aesthetic of the cards like kind of really re like reimburses that it's like uh we were talking to like the lead card designer when we were there his name was gavin um, and, like, they basically did a lot of study of, kind of, like, 1920s era, but to also then kind of repaint it and recoat it in, like, a Magic the Gathering style. Um, so it makes for this really interesting combination of, like, mobsters and magic, which was just really cool aesthetically. The card is gorgeous. Yeah, no, it, it really was. You found Gavin. Yeah, Gavin, Gavin was hanging about. Uh, and, like, we were just talking to him. He was, like, a lovely lad. Uh, and, like, he was just really happy to see us, like, nerding out about the cards. Because this is the thing, like, um, like, because, like, we, we're proper nerds for the game. So, like, the night before, right? And, like, just to, like, give us some, even some more context for the event. Like, for people who don't know how much we're into the game. We stayed up till 4 a.m. the night before. Literally with our own commander decks just playing. Uh, like, we were all just in, like, sitting in the hotel room together. And it's like, like, fuck it. <laughs> let's, let's just stay up late and play. Um, um, it was just so much fun, uh, of, like, kind of an event and trip that we had. Uh, the, like, definitely one of, like, the weirdest sponsors I think I've ever had. Like, hey, you, like, you know, do you want to go to a 1920s mafia-style party? <laughs> like, basically. So, it, it made for a very strange birthday, but, like, a really fun one. You know, like, I had a great time. Yeah, one other thing that I want to mention, too, that this was really cool they had the, at the event. And, like, me and Mango spent a lot of time on this. Um, so, like, they had, like, an escape room in a box that you had to s solve. And it was basically, like, a lot of puzzles. And they led to, like, kind of little other, like, kind of bits of card and more puzzles uh, that you had to solve. And we were actually, like, I think one of the two groups that were only able to complete it. Uh, me and Mango were just working hard on that. Uh, and we had, we had, it was like one or two other people from one of the other tables with us. But we just like sat to work and like got, we just got, got sat down, got to work. And we actually solved it. Yeah, it was an escape box, basically. It's an escape room in a box. Uh, it was just like kind of some fun flavor, like kind of almost board game extra, uh, thrown on the party. And that was really fun. Uh, like we had a great time playing that. Uh, I can tell you, I have another picture. I have one of just like the board state in that. So you can kind of like see some of what... It all looked like you can kind of, this is like our long long table here. Let me just uh, let me just rotate this real quick for you Rotate clockwise. There you go See, So this is kind of like the setup. So again, this is just like in the middle of like a very fancy bar Very kind of retro themed and here's us just all nerding out playing our magic 
we had a five-way game going. Uh, it was myself, Spiff, Kiwo, Mango, and uh, Marek. Uh, Kiwo's partner. Did you get drunk there? No, I did not. I did have some nice wine. I had some very lovely wine. Like, literally, like, the moment you come in, it's just like, do you want a glass of wine? And it's like, we will brief you on Magic the Gathering card soon. And it's like the weirdest combination of things. This is, this is high class, classy nerd culture, right? <laughs> Make no mistake here. Oh, God, but it, it was just so much fun. Like, I, I had such a wonderful time. Uh, I, 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 again, I, it was just very cool of them to offer this and like a fun, like, you know, it's just like a really fun event. I'm excited for like the new set now. It's the uh, new Capenna or Streets of Capenna set. Uh, yeah, Streets of Streets of New Capenna. Compound the two together. I'm excited for it. Uh, like I remember when, when we left the event too. We weren't allowed to take any of the cards with us just because you know they don't want us like kind of leaking them before ahead of release and stuff like that. Uh, you know, embargoes are up now, so I'm okay to post all of this. I'm up. We're, we're in the clear. We're in the clear. But they didn't want us, like, running off with the carrots and, like, leaking them online or something like that. So they took off the carrots. But even at the end of the event, they were like, hey, we might send you some. What deck did you play with? And it's like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, they were so good to us. They were so good. Oh, God. And so, like, some of you might have only seen, like, I think, like, the only bit I was able... I, I was able to post this before just because they're sideways me. I was- I popped this on Twitter and that, and I, I just popped this up for my birthday. I couldn't provide context for, like, why I had a bow tie in that, and, like, why I was in London. Uh, <laughs> apparently I'm in Australia now, hang on. Uh, let me just, uh, transform that again. And let me... Let me transform that again, there we go. Yeah, so some of you might have seen that on Twitter. Thanks for all the birthday wishes and that that people sent. Uh, shout out as well to Spiff for when he took the picture. Um, so, the, uh, fantastic camera work. This was his first picture that he took. <laughs> he got like a bit of an action shot going. And then uh, the second picture he took. Just, just. <laughs> it's just incredible. Uh, yeah, so I asked him to take a picture of me. Uh, that's fantastic. He's a handsome lad. <laughs> he made you look different. <laughs> oh, God. Why is it blurry? I don't know. He was like swinging the, my phone around or something while he was taking the picture. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure. The camera changes you. <laughs> oh, God. Like, yeah, it was just, it was so much fun. Like, we had such a good time, like, like just in London. Um, I have some more um, cursed screenshots that I got just, like, kind of uh, of my travels while we were there. Hang on, so let me get these up, too. Uh, another one of these that you might have spotted on the Twitter. Uh, I don't know what this actually stands for, but, like, this is, like, one of my travel pictures that genuinely scares me. I don't know what's coming soon, but... Yeah, I'm kind of scared. I'm kind of scared. Oh, <laughs> uh, we, we spotted that while we were out. Uh, unbelievably cursed. Uh, we got to do some other fun stuff too uh, while we were there as well. Uh, we went bowling uh, for one of the days. because I was in London for like two nights. Um, we went bowling for one of the... We went bowling for a bit of it, and we got this wonderful moment, too. These are some extra travel pictures <laughs> that we picked up. <laughs> they knew exactly what they were doing. <laughs> so, absolutely incredible. Um, and the last thing as well, um, that I just want to, like, kind of give a cheeky mention to as well. Uh, I actually was able to finally bring home this giant Mareep, uh, that Spiff had collected for me 
in the UK. And there was like a moment uh, on the trip where literally like after everything, uh, when we were heading home, um, Spiff was just like, okay, like here you go. Uh, here is like the life-size Mareep that you ordered and I was able to bring her home. Uh, Crumpet is now living her best life in my apartment. Very thankful to have her. Um, it was like kind of, it was an ordeal to kind of get her down because like she had to be like kind of transport to London. And for like, this thing is massive. This thing is four foot long. It's two foot tall, right? Um, it barely fit in Spiff's car. Like we had to like squeeze it to get it out the door. I then had to take, like, a, a taxi straight from the heart of London to Heathrow Airport with this giant sheep. Okay. Because, uh, uh, like, there was no way I'm getting onto the underground or, like, making it any other way to the airport with this massive thing. Uh, I had to check Crumpet onto a plane. But they had to fly her to Dublin. Now, here's... Here's where it gets ridiculous, Okay. They lost Crumpet on the flight back. I don't know how you managed to lose a four foot long sheep from London to Dublin, but they managed it. They lost her at the airport. <laughs> and it took two days to find this massive sheep and get her back. So like like like, like crump, poor crumpet uh like she's resting for the next week. She needs some downtime. She needs some time off, um because like she's been like like traumatized by the flight over. I don't know how you lose it. Like I don't know how you lose that. <laughs> like it's it's a massive fucking sheep. I don't know how you manage that. Uh but like that was like the end of the trip. Uh we got her back now, and she's living her best life. I kind of just leave her about the apartment. She's been learning keyboard the last while. Uh, she was filing some taxes the other day. She's living the dream. Uh, but yeah, that was... Uh, <laughs> that was my trip to the UK, which I can finally talk about. And that was just really cool and fun. So again, like, thank you very much, like, the Magic the Gathering for organizing all of that. Thank you for sponsoring us for that as well. Like, it's just... It's such a wild thing. Like, 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 hey, do you want to come to this big event? By the way, like, we'll sponsor you for it, too. So you're not, like, put out of pocket. And it's like, okay, like, sure, I'll happily go to, like, a birthday party. That's 1920s mafia-themed. You know? You want to be sponsored to be, like, have a wonderful birthday and be a nerd for a day. Like, I mean, you can't say no to that, can you? <laughs> I'm mad excited for the new set. Did they film you? Is there a video from this? So, Ross Kemp was filming. That's the thing. Like, Ross Kemp is doing a documentary while we were there. There is a wonderful footage out there somewhere where Spiff explains to Ross Kemp how to play Magic the Gathering. Uh, Ross Kemp, let me just get, like, a picture of him, uh, in case, like, you ha you're not familiar with him. He's done a lot of, like, very serious kind of documentaries. Uh, like, about the military and stuff like that, and, like, where he he's been to, like, Afghanistan. And kind of recorded things there. He's, he's recorded documentaries about like kind of gang violence and stuff like that. Um, for whatever reason, he was at this convention for nerds, basically. Bit, it's a bit different. It's a bit different. But here, let me get him. Let me get him up on screen. There's Ross Kemp. Yeah, there's Ross Kemp. So again, like you might have seen some of the stuff like Ross Kemp on gang, gangs, Ross Kemp in Afghanistan. A lot of stuff like that, yeah, and, uh, he, he plays a character as well in um, EastEnders as well that some people will know of. Uh, UK television gang will be able to spot this man. But he was here, uh, and he was just recording, and there's wonderful footage out there now of, like, Spiff explaining how to play Magic the Gathering to this hardened man. <laughs> He's a lad's lad, you know? Documenting the dangerous nerd species in their native environment. Like, that's the thing. Like, it's... it's <laughs> Like, documentary on gang violence? Magic the Gathering. They don't really go together. <laughs> like, you know? <laughs> Granted, it was a mafia-themed, like, kind of Magic the Gathering party. But they don't really go together. It, he, he's not who I expected to see. <laughs> So, like, that, like, that's kind of funny in of itself. 
where is the video? Um, I don't know if it's released yet. I don't know. But, I, I mean, that's one of those things that I think is just gonna come out at some point. He was just about. We're clear for the NDA and embargo on our end, so we're allowed to mention stuff that happens at the party, so, like, we're good for that. Uh, but that was just really funny to me, you know, that, like, he's just here. I didn't get to speak to him directly myself, but again, Spiff, like, Spiff and Kiwo explain magic. <laughs> so, that was really funny. Oh, God. Oh, thanks for all the birthday wishes coming in just at the start of the stream. Yeah, sorry, I'm just trying to, like, kind of catch you up. On what's been happening. Uh, but yeah, I had a wonderful birthday. I had a fantastic trip in London. Uh, new magic set looks amazing. I can't wait to play more of it. Uh, currently for like magic sets and the one that I'm heavily invested in is I have a lot of like the D&D &D set. I really like that one. Um, uh, just because like the cards are like really like thematic. There's a lot of cards where you roll a D20 which I think is really cute. Uh, I'm a bit of a D&D &D nerd. Uh, and this one, though, is, like, a new favorite, like, kind of, like, just with the theme and aesthetic. And the fact that they did all this for it, you know? Like, it's hard not to love. It's hard not to like. But I'm mad excited for it. Uh, and once we get our decks, we're probably gonna all be, uh, like, hopping on for, like, Discord late nights and that to just play Commander together. Because <laughs> that's what we do. For our little squad. RT D and D stream when... Uh, I mean, it depends on who's DMing it. I know Kiwo's mentioned, like, a few times that she'd love to do some D&D &D stuff. I know she's down for it. It's kind of just hard to get, like, the gang of people for, to, uh, a gang of people together for that. Because, you know, D&D &D is, like, a hell of a commitment as well, you know? And you gotta have, like, regular sessions and that. And, like, uh, like, content creator friends, it can be kind of hard to get us all together on the regular for that. But, we, but I mean, it would be cool. I wouldn't say no. I'm not a good DM. <laughs> I'm not a good DM, so I wouldn't be able to do that. <laughs> oh, God. Who's your favorite commander? I mean, of the new set, I really like the Maestro one. I thought he was just really fun to play. And, uh, like, he had that touch as well, so, like, that's always a bit menacing on commander, because you can just, like, get... Basically get, like, a kill any card card on the board quite quickly. And so, like, it kind of leaves people in fear and gives you, like, a mighty defense. So I really like that. Irish lads D&D stream when? I don't know if they play d and I have no idea. I don't know. I know Kiwo does. I know Kelly does. She's floating about here too. I think Spiff and Ash, uh, well, Spiff and Mango do as well. I'm really waiting for this set. Yeah, like, me too. I'm excited for it. Oh, I'll be playing more of it. I can't wait. But yeah, that, that was my birthday. That was a really cool thing that happened. Thanks again to Magic for sponsoring that. That that was absolutely wild. Uh, it's gonna make for a very memorable birthday. Uh, compared to like the previous years too, like let me give you like the birthday rundown. 2021, in lockdown. 2020, in lockdown. <laughs> so, you know, that was the best birthday in a long while. <laughs> I had a fantastic time. I actually got to spend time with my friends this year. You know, and I'm actually very thankful to them for that. Pirate competition, man. <laughs> oh, God. This chat really turned into a Q&A over the last 30 minutes. I know, but like, get some Q- Like, we're just chatting. We're getting, like, we're getting a bit of catch-up time in. We'll have a long stream today, by the way. We're gonna do some Wind Waker. Uh, and, like, we're gonna press on with playing that. But, like, just before we get to that, yeah, like, just get a bit of chatting, you know? 500 pound sheep. Look, like, I made, I made a promise. I think we joked about it on this stream, like, ages ago as well, right? That, like, if it ever came back in stock, we'd have to get, we'd have to get Mareep. Like, that and, like, life-size Wooloo. If they happen, we need our sheep, our sheepy boys. We need to get them home. And I do not regret it one bit. <laughs> I do not regret it at all. Uh, what's Wind Waker? Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. A classic game. We're gonna be playing it soon. Bring them home. Like, basically. Like, it, it was a lot of hassle to get them back just because they don't ship them to Ireland. Um, but, we managed. 
Spiff was able to adapt the sheep for a substantial amount of time. And we're good. What about the life-size ferret? No, I can't- I can't get all the life-size ones. If I get every life-size one right, we're gonna be in a lot of trouble. There's only so much space in the apartment. Mareep's already taken up a lot of it now. Like, she doesn't really have anywhere that I can put her, so she kind of just, like, moves about the apartment a lot. Like, at the moment, I think she's looking out the window. She was playing keyboard earlier. I just kind of set her up, and she does her own thing. Leave the Mareep as the face cam for the whole stream. <laughs> Uh, I don't think we can do that. Uh, I think that might be a bit intrusive. I think that might be a bit... Can't believe you have a live sheep in your apartment. Well, like, listen, right? I'm not allowed to have cats in my place. So maybe I will get a large Mareep to keep me company, okay? It's the best I can do. <laughs> I'm not allowed to get a cat, sadly. But it's okay, because I've got Crumpet. Maybe one day they'll make Cupcake as well. We need them to make like a life-size Wooloo and then a life-size Shiny Wooloo specifically. So that we can... Uh, they, I, I, if they do both of them, that's fine. Alright, well I just have a flock of sheep. I had to explain this to my mum as well. I don't... I, I can't tell what she really thinks of it. Like, I think she's happy for me because she knows that it's cute and it's something... I, like, it makes me happy, but at the same time... I don't know what she thinks of it. It's hard to explain. My poor mum, like, for her, every Pokemon's Pikachu. Well, she knows Cupcake as well, but she doesn't know its real name of Wooloo. She doesn't know that. She just calls that one a Cupcake. <laughs> Ah, oh, God. Thank you for all the bits as well. Jesus Christ, guys. Kai Kai, thank you for a thousand bits. Hey, Dan, I showed my mom your Elden Ring playthrough because she was curious and she nearly died laughing. She wanted me to pass on that you're the funniest guy she's seen in a long while. Cheers, happy belated birthday. Oh, that's very sweet. Thank you very much for sharing that. I'm glad she enjoys the content and that, like, Jim Scary didn't scare her off. No, it was Todd Howard. It was Todd Howard. Sorry. Oh, God. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you very much. Gorman, thank you for 1100 bits as well. I hope you're doing well. Thanks for the kind words. You're too good. Hope you're having a good day. Life-size Badoo found inbound. Oh, no. I can't. I can't. I don't have the space. I have to commit to only the sheep. Okay? We won't have space for every life-size plush. That's so difficult to get home. But it's God! <laughs> You're not wrong! Uh. You wanna hear something I'm probably gonna do at some point, right? Cause... Cause I... Uh, I used to live in Japan. For those who didn't know. Uh, 2018 I lived in Tokyo. And I've wanted to go back to Tokyo and Japan every year ever since then. There's always been something coming up. The last few years have been locked down. You know, it's kind of hard to do. Uh, next year, fingers crossed, I'm going to be there. When I go there, part of my plan is to get a second suitcase specifically when I'm there. Take that suitcase to the Pokemon Center. <laughs> And just stock up on, like, plushies for the winter. <laughs> just... <laughs> just put it all aside. There's been a special fund for a long while, specifically for it. Every, like, we'll bring, we'll bring all the Wooloo home. Like, it's just going to be a suitcase specifically for them. Nothing else. Become Team Rocket. I met Team Rocket at a Pokemon Center once. I don't know if I ever told anyone about that. Um, I have some pictures of it somewhere, but basically Giovanni was rallying the kids, and they were all giving him, like, this, like, kind of rallying war cry. 
And it was quite menacing. <laughs> I believe he was indoctrinating them in, in, in the Pokemon Center. <laughs> that was wild. What are you on? No, this happened. Giovanni showed up, right? And he was trying to rally the kids to support Team Rocket. <laughs> I'd have to dig up the pictures for that. I have so many pictures from, like, stuff like that and just travels in general. Oh, God. I'll, I'll dig them up someday. Maybe we can have, like, an album, like, like travel album, travel blog, uh, blog stream or something. Uh, before the time being, uh, we are going to gear up with some Legend of Zelda, Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. Because I do want to play games today. Give me just one second there. And we'll dive back on into it. But yeah, thank you for all the birthday wishes though. I'm glad I've finally been able to talk about it. I had so much fun. Um, oh. Just let me check one thing actually if that's okay. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Okay, I gotta get the, just the Wii U set up real quick. There might be a little blip. There we go. Okay, here comes the blip. Bear with me. That's the blip. Okay, we're good. There. Yeah, so thank you again to Magic for that. I thought that was really cool. I had so much fun. Those guys are just really good in general. Like, honestly. Um, like... Again, like, this is just me nerding out and stuff like that. But, like, ever since we did, like, the Magic sponsor last year, some of you might remember that. It was, like, where I had to learn the game for the first time. They've been so good, and they've always kept in touch. Like, whenever there's new sets in that, they're always like, hey... You know, you wanna you wanna try this. They sent me a card at Christmas even. Um Where it was called like last minute chopping or something like that. It was like an odd promotional one. That was like Christmas themed. Yeah, like they're they're actually so good. They are they are really good. Like they go the extra mile with a lot of stuff. So I am a big fan of them and I really do enjoy the game too. I'm really glad I got into it. Okay. We're gonna gear up with some games. Uh, Cashmere, thank you for the 10 gift subs. Infinite, thank you for the 5 gift subs as well. Queen Bovine, thank you for the 5 gift subs. Uh, Mazda, thank you for the 5 gift subs. Jesus Christ, guys, you gave a lot. Uh, Detective David Diamond, thank you for 1060. Oh my god. Lobster, thank you for a thousand earlier. Will the winds, thank you for a thousand earlier. One Phil, thank you for a thousand. Will the winds again. Jesus Christ, Royal Tulipa. Door slamming, thank you for the thousand. <laughs> oh, I don't know if you heard that. Hang on, let me adjust this, it's a bit loud. that better? Goodbye, Marie. Oh, we'll get Marie back later, don't worry. She, she will, of course, be featured in content in future. We will find stuff for her. Don't worry, okay? We're gonna live our best life now that she's here. We made the smart decision. That's loud, I can't hear it. Can you not hear it? Audio-wise, is that good? I'm just checking. It's good. Oh, we still have, like, the birthday whistle. <laughs> Hang on. Uh, we'll change it back to the here. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's, let's swap it back. Let's see. 
uploads. Where's the ya yeah sound effect? No, that's the friends theme with gunshots. I can't use that one anymore. <laughs> I think you've briefly heard that one. Okay, that, that's way too quiet. Let me just bump that up. There we go. That should start coming up soon. Oh, God. But yeah, we're doing a long day stream today. I just want to play a bunch of Wind Waker. Uh, the stream schedule this week is a bit different again, just because I have some stuff on at the weekend. Uh, I'm going to be streaming today, tomorrow, and Thursday. And those are the streams for the week. Uh, I'll be starting in the afternoon today and tomorrow. I'm not sure when I'll be starting Thursday just yet. Okay? But yeah, just to mention, we're gonna play more Wind Waker. Three days on the trot. On the trot. Never heard that expression. <laughs> Theo, thank you for the five gift subs. Perfect to keep me company while I write my assignment. Good luck, idiot. When are you streaming Thursday? It'll either be three or seven. One of those two times, time in Ireland. It's GMT plus one we're on now. Or BST, British Summertime. It's technically Irish Summertime as we call it here, but no one knows what that is. Ah yes, Indian Summertime. You get the wrong, wrong time zone. Yeah, we're gonna play Wind Waker. Uh, when we last left our adventure, I'll put it away. Uh, we sailed the entire world. Uh, we retrieved the Master Sword. We defeated the Forsaken Fortress. Uh, we found three pieces of the Triforce already. Uh, despite not knowing what it is yet. Uh, Tetra, uh, got put in a cupboard for the rest of the game, which is a bit unfortunate. I never like how they kind of treat Tetra in this game. Uh, I think they do they do her way better in Spirit Tracks. I think that's one of, like, the best depictions of her, like, in any Zelda game. Uh, cause, like, yeah, she is just kind of put in a cupboard in this one. Which is a bit fucking weird. <laughs> Um, but what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be picking up some more power-ups. And we're just going to keep on grinding on until we get 100% completion. It's Wind Waker streams every day the next while. Or at least for this week. Lily removed her tan. Yeah, that's a bit weird, ain't it? That's a bit weird. Oh dear. Spirit Tracks at Zelda, though, is one of the best ones. Like, she is full assassin personality, and that's what you want. Okay. Uh, we have to start with a few bits. Uh. This is the first thing we're doing. Ballad of Gales. I think I can head here now. Is your NDA up? Do you still have a couple days left? At? Oh, NDA's gone. NDA's gone. We're good. We're in the clear now. We had a good old chat earlier, uh, just there on the stream about it. Okay, we can finally go back to the ferry. And there's something new now. How do you not vomit from that spin? Little man just like holds out to the brow of the ship. I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> Greetings, child. Tee hee hee. It seems the door to your fate has already swung open, has it not? I am the queen of the fairy world. What is the matter? Does that not surprise you, child? I like you. And so, I shall give you new power to the bow that you wield. He's just gonna destroy her doll. You've kidnapped so many of her children. What's two more?
take them with us. Powers of fire and ice have been added to your arrows. When you take out your bow, use ZR to change arrowheads and fire away. So you get the magic arrows. And you get both of them together in this game too, which is real handy. That opens up a bunch of new stuff. Ice arrows can freeze the hottest flames, and fire arrows can melt the coldest ice. The fairies in this fountain will ease your weariness. Use them as you need to. Child, I must tell you, you are just my type. That's a bit weird. Even the boat's like, yeah, I don't know what's going on here. Okay. See you later, fairy girl. They're both kids here, but like, it's just still weird. <laughs> That's Fee, isn't it? It does look a bit like Fee. Yeah, the great fairies in this game have that kind of resemblance. Okay, so we can fly away. There's a bunch of new shit we can do. Uh, we want to fly to the Ice Isle and the Fire Isle. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my god, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm developing more of a dad sneeze now that I'm 27 years old. It gets more and more aggressive with each passing year. Soon I will just scream in pain at the mic, and that's how you know I've sneezed. Thanks for the blessings. 33 year old boomer. I'm not there yet. Slow down a little. Can I- have I opened this one? No, I haven't, but I can open it now, can't I? Wait, I could've opened this one before, I just needed bombs, didn't I? Well, hang on, wait. I think we can just use this. Use this to show it off. Fire arrow? You burn it away. Once you get to 27, you may as well say you're 40. Stop that. <sighs> Not a fairy power. Let me to aid you in your quest. We're gonna have to do, like, a backtrack of every island in the game at some point this week, too. That's gonna be fun. We're gonna pick up every single thing in the world. We get 99 bombs now, too, which is amazing. So many explosives. Yeah, some islands, I think, are checked off completely already. We'll do a round tour, though. That'll probably be on Thursday. I do aim to completely complete this game. Well, speaking of, I think do, 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 I need, need this. I still need a bit more blue chew, don't I? Just give me that. Including the slide puzzles. The slide puzzles are not required. Thank God. So we're okay there. Okay, there's a lot of explosives here. The, the waves. Come on. I, I'm really bad at remembering which of these towers actually have treasure that we need. Some of them definitely do. Little man. Would you kindly... That actually killed me. <laughs> yeah, sure, here's some treasure. Uh, I'm really bad at remembering which towers actually have treasure that we need. But we will just have to investigate most of them. 
Assume that if it doesn't have chests up the top, that they're, they're missing. Who's the god gamer now? Julie, I swear to the god, you're just the room across from me. Those are bold fighting words. She's yelling at me. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> Run! <laughs> well, out the window I go. It's been a good stream. <laughs> she knows. Ah, oh, God. We'll distract her. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if that's going to work too well. She might, she might be able to see that plan as you communicate it in Twitch chat. Did I get all the things? Yeah, I definitely did. That one doesn't have a ledge, does it? Well, uh, a ladder. Can we bet on who's gonna win in the fight? Her. <laughs> it's... Come on, you guys you guys have seen me. I can't hold my own in a fight. <laughs> I, I'm I'll be eaten alive. Oh yeah, one other thing we did in London as well that I meant to mention. Uh me and a friend did like a Japanese horror escape room. That was wild. And it was like, we, we, it was like really spooky and there was like a load of mechanical puzzles in it. It was really well done. Absolutely love that. And we had to like rescue like a, like a child from like a labyrinth. And there's this bit at the end where you just have to pick up the kid basically and like hold, like carry him out. We called him Timmy. It's probably not his actual name. But it was actually like really creepy and unsettling because there would be like random banging and stuff like that. And they're like, they position like these statues so that when you turn a corner, you just see the peak of their head and stuff like that. And they're like, it's like on like low light visibility too. It was really spooky. I can't remember the exact name of it. It was, it was a maze though. It's part of the name. Someone here might know it. London Gang. Yeah, this is why we need to do the towers too. Like there's already a uh, treasure chart, so we, we need to pick that up. We have to do every single one for every single treasure chart. And then we have to open them too. I think we're doing good at tracking down the treasure on these. We've been to a lot of them. Here's the incredible Triforce chart. As well, you can kind of see where all this is. Uh, we've done pretty good. There's one on the ghost ship that we have to get. There's one back on outset. Uh, we need to get the uh, the item. We're gonna do. We're gonna. We're doing main story before we get sidetracked too much here, right? We're gonna pick up new tools, specifically the hook shot, because that's the one we really need to get to a lot of new areas. And then we can get sidetracked to our heart's content. Yeah, sure. No, I mean it. I mean it. Don't let me get sidetracked. You have to yell at me. Start, like, violently swearing. Main story lies. I think there's only, like, two real items that will take a while to get that are left in the game. Uh, everything else is pretty easy to obtain at this point. It's two real main ones. And then there's two we can get, like, right now that we're gearing on up for. God, this sword just kills everything as well. So strong. Was there a fish doing that all the way out here? Oh, no, actually very near the island, right? I thought you we were further out. Okay, I need to go east. Why the fuck are you doing the main quest? 
can explain. It's a controversial moment. As Daniel actually does the thing he's supposed to do. Did you get any Easter eggs? I did get some Easter eggs. It's very sweet. I have, a, I have a, like a, a, a chocolate dairy milk one. That I'm quite excited for later. Also have some birthday cake. That my kind old mum made. Okay, let's extinguish the island. Uh... I said, uh, let's extinguish the- there, there we go. Okay, so this starts a five minute timer. And we can hop out and go on it now. Run, little mad Rod, he's going. Uh, where's the way in? This could be time for a vlog, he hasn't made one today. No, open the chest. <laughs> Flat on his face. Side quest timer. Yeah, it seems to be when we get most of our vlog activities in, isn't it? Okay, here's the way up. We got yet another treasure chart too, which is great. I really want to get more of the unique treasure charts, because like those are actually very rare in this game. There's not a lot of them. Uh, time is stopped while I'm here as well, so don't worry. The submarine chart unfortunately doesn't check off the submarines when you have beaten them. So that's why we're going to have to do like a very thorough comb later. Uh, wit chat. You guys will be able to help me out quite a bit then. You're all right, little man. It's just a storm. There you go. I think this is the only bit of the entire game that features ice as well. Which is a bit weird. You always think it's like just like an ice team dungeon or something like that. It's just a small island in this game. Lands at a premium, so they don't have as many like different like kind of biomes. In we go. Is my head kind of Ganon is a concerned parent worrying about the effects TikTok may have on young children? <laughs> That's all he's trying to do. He's trying to like save you at this point. My god. We should have listened. Global warming is real. This is just like the far future. This is what's in store for us. This whole place used to be the Netherlands. It's not doing too well these days. I do have an extra bottle, but I'll just keep it empty in case I need to put something. In. Here's the secret slide level for Mario 64. That's the end of the secret slide level. <laughs> Come on. Okay, what we get? The iron boots. These boots are so heavy you can hardly walk, but the wind can't blow you around when you wear them. So, new equipable item for us. Pop these on your feet. You walk super slow. Uh, but you can't be blown anywhere now. Uh, having these also lets you uh, stand on very heavy switches. Yeah, there's a few of them in here. Oh, there's got to be something if you kill them all. Go one at a time. Make it as easy as possible. This 
guy's got the fancy armor. You're not already dead. No, you're not. Okay. Just making sure. Give me your belt. Uh, I will probably need those boots for when I come back out of here, won't I? I can't remember what we want money for right now, but we'll take it all, all the same. I think there's something that requires a lot of it still. Probably just decorating Windfall Island, actually. Yeah, that, that will take a while in of itself. Takes a little bit of magic as well to use the special arrows. Tingle Decipher and Charts. No, so we've done it. So in this game, there's only three charts you need to decipher. It used to be all of them. Which was hell. Because it costs so much money. And like back in the old game too, you couldn't get as large of a wallet. Like a thousand was the max, I think. So it made it very difficult. You had to really time going back to Tingle a lot of the time. There's so much kinder about it in this game. Like we have a max wallet size of like a thousand, like five thousand already. Come on. Marie for Wooloo? I love my Wooloo, but don't tell that to Crumpet. I love them both. They're both my children, okay? You know, when my parents were 27, they were getting married and um, had their own home. I got a Marie. We both know who's living their best life. What about Gilbert? I don't like to acknowledge he exists. Please do not acknowledge he exists. It's okay, you have like 3,000 kids. Thanks, guys. <laughs> also, look at this, like they refreeze the chest. That's, we, gotta, we gotta keep this hidden. God forbid someone walks away with the loot. Just leave that. Save the magic and arrows. What about Albert? We really want to forget about Albert. As does the nameless company that produced him. Oh no. Uh, we need to go to Fire Isle. There's Little Man's Oasis as well. Uh, there is a piece of the Triforce at Little Man's Oasis. We could stop off. I don't think that requires any of the new equipment. Oh no, we're getting sidetracked again. <laughs> Excluding Charizard, what Pokemon do you hate the most? Uh... Charmeleon. <laughs> I've got it in for the entire family there, right? Wait, there's, there's, there's treasure. I got Get this first. Oh, there's so much to do. I got sidetracked from the sidetrack. Backstreet Alley tracks. That doesn't sound right. That sounds menacing. <laughs> Sidetrack Andy. <laughs> Look, this is the game, right? If you don't- uh, if you play a game like this and you pick a singular objective and you just do that without trying to optimize and do like 20 other things at once, like what's wrong with you? It's like if you play an MMO, 
You don't just complete the one quest to get go get seven boar asses and go back and deliver it. You get the seven boar ass quest, the other quest, the kill 12 boars, the additional quest to kill the boss boar, and then like one more quest to retrieve like the alchemist potion that he lost at the hands of the boars. And then you deliver them all at once. That's how you play these games. Let anyone claim it otherwise, you're lying. Down here. Oh, this is a crawl space maze, isn't it? I forgot about this. Uh, we're still looking for the trap doors, I think, here. It's the only way to achieve maximum serotonin. You're absolutely right. It is. Oh no, I can't tell where the crawl space... Well, where, where the, the fake drops are. Uh... Okay, I mean, we did something right there. Gotta get some efficiency in your grind. Yeah, like that that's how you play these things. Absolutely. Jesus, he can't stay focused. This is how you play these games. And then you gradually remember, like, oh, I was supposed to do that. The bonus objectives here will remind us as we go too. Because they will physically stop us as time goes on. We will reach a point where it's like, you should have brought the hook shot. Dan, you mean life. Exactly, because, you know, advice for life in general is you can't just do the one thing. You know, you need to focus on studying for your exams while also cleaning the house and make a good dinner for the end of the day while staying in peak physical condition and maintain your mental health, social relations and relationships. While getting a job that's worthwhile. And not letting the existential dread set in. Yo, know, MMOs with their quest logic prepared us for the real world. <laughs> you can't just do one thing. Don't forget the side hustle. <laughs> What would be my side hustle at this point? Because like, I'm like, I'm, I'm like doing this full time. Like, what do I do as like an extra thing? <laughs> Insurance fraud? <laughs> Mafia, yeah, I have, I have been involved with crime recently. It's true, actually. I do have some like criminal uh, connections. I'm sure Ross Kemp could hook me up if I ask him to. He knows some people. He's interviewed them. <laughs> Bianco Hills Mafia Associate. That was one of the crime families. They should have had it in the new set. I should have just been like a chuckster there. Ooh, -hoo -hoo. you want to join my family? Is this the next hole I need to fall into? There's no ladder on this one. Oh no, these guys. No, 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 don't let them do it. Don't let them do it. We're okay. Scariest enemy in the game is those guys. It's okay, they're gone. They can't hurt us anymore. Chuck the Chuckster is recruiting for the Bianco Hills mob family. Chucky Chuckster. That sounds like a mob name. I could see it. Why are that zombies in the basement here? That's a good question, actually. This is supposed to be like your private resort. Who died here? What happened in this oasis? For like a piece of the Triforce to be hidden down here. <laughs> what did 
did the joy lady do before she became a teacher? Be a dear and help the students in this town be better. I wouldn't want to have to treat them like I did the last class. Miss Joy Lady, no! Okay, I think we got everything out of here now. Uh, how do I leave? Is it here? Yeah, there it is. Okay, we're good. This is all pat. Yeah, it just looks around there. Cool. Okay, we got everything. Can I get some context about what you were talking about? <laughs> I'm just confused. What's going on? Okay, I'm just joshing you all. Having some funsies. Uh, we are implying that the Joy Lady kills people. There you go. Brought up to speed. Uh, did I ever go down into the depths of Bomb Island? I feel like I did. There's no treasure chart thing. Oh. I got another one I need to open, didn't I? I wish they just organized them in like the order you found them or something. There you go, there's another one. Why do you think she's so happy? Oh no! Is this one of those meme I hear about? <laughs> one of the meme. Wait, is this the submarine we couldn't beat before? There was one of them. I mean, there's a chest there. There's no way up to the top one there. We definitely did this one before. Yeah, it's not this one. They're just having a good time. Yeah, they're not, they're not even doing anything. There's no one else sailing, so you know, it's not like exactly like there's any terror on the high seas. It's just us, really. Yeah, we went, we, we got to the bottom of Bomb Island, didn't we? We did. So, we're just gonna head north to Fire Island. Just this way. You're the terror on the high seas. Oh, stop it, you. Oh, that's the Tower of the Gods, right. That's a different one. You killed everything else while sailing. Wonderful. Okay, we definitely have more treasure chests to get. We will be doing a very thorough search of every island at some point. Once we have every item, we just go to each one, make sure we have everything, check every outpost. Voyage of a lifetime. I'm the one who knocks. Yeah! <laughs> okay, was I able to get that... That fairy island? Okay. Real quick, let me check. We'll go back to that island soon. Sidetrack. Fairy islands are important. They contain power-ups. I need one for more arrows, because I don't have a lot right now. Is there anything there? 
No, it, that one looks good. I think we've done it. Is 100% your goal for this game or just casual playthrough? Ah, we're doing 100%. I want to do everything. I love this game. Oh, there's treasure. 100% basically means every piece of heart. It's kind of like your end goal. Every treasure chart, too. We're gradually getting there. We have a lot of the treasure charts done. We've gotten a lot of pieces of heart, too. The rupee ones don't matter so much, but I'll still take them. Switch arrow. Freeze that, and it just plugs it for a while. Look at that. The lava has stopped. You get five minutes to hop on. Kids, don't try this in real life. If you want to stop your local volcano in an eruption, get really close to it. That's the first step. Sir. Come on, little man. He's destroying habitats. Okay, it was a hostile environment, right? There's only there's a bird that lived here. The bird can be rehomed. The volcano was a menace. Had to be done. I'm sure real life kids will have magical arrows get made of ice gifted by a fairy. Exactly! It's all you need, it's easy. Lord boy. Uh. Where do I gotta go for this again? I, I think it's right here. Is there a grappling hook? Oh, death approaches. Why do that again? Oh, there was one there. It just like sunk for some reason. Where did that one go? Kill these guys. Get out of here. Don't need to pick him up for anything this time. Okay, and we get another very important item. Have the power bracelets. Bolt arms are now stronger than ever. Press A to grab and lift objects. Uh, with these items, you can now pick up all of these big heads. That's, that's the power bracelet's sole function. It's to destroy like every big head in the game. You're okay, little man. There you go. Little man is super strong now. Little man got big biceps. Little man's big buff. But, like, that's the only use of that item, which is kind of weird. Uh, they don't really make it work for anything else in the game. <laughs> Bit weird. Just strange. Okay, we got a piece of the Triforce there. Uh, there's a big head on Outside Island. Do we want to get sidetracked again? <laughs> Sure, why not? We'll get the hook shot one of these days.
Don't think that you can complete that yet. Oh, do I need, um... I think I need the shield for one bit of it, do I? Is that the one? I can go to a different Big Head Island. Okay. I can still do some other bits on the island here. I need to visit Grandma. Look at that, she's out of her chair. Thank you for the homemade soup. It's two helpings. Best healing item in the game. By far. Okay, we need to stop off in here and pick up something. And then we need to find the big pig. Little man, you are all right. Why'd you not tell me about Errol? That was thoughtless of you. This island's seen hard times ever since you departed. You do not know what you have been doing on your journey, but you seem a little more daring these days. Are you just not gonna elaborate what's been happening? Is, is something wrong here? <laughs> We've been under attack. Your grandma nearly got her head taken off by a stray falcon. Okay, let's show him our skills. Little man versus Nip man? Oh, I don't like that. Okay, I gotta hit him a hundred times before he hits us three. Just keep swinging. Did that wrong. I'm surprised that didn't block him in time. Oh! Okay, I'm not doing too well at that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to try and beat him. I need a piece of heart for that. Let's do it again. We can't pick up the Triforce here, but we can beat up an old man. Overload his pacemaker? Okay, if you do it in round seven, maybe. Flip into the wall some more. I think the key is just take your time. Because if you go all out and just keep swinging, he eventually gets you. There we go. Gonna do it hitless! Challenge run! You just did it hitless. Uh, how many do I need to get this to? I can't remember if there's another reward. <laughs> This 
might take a while. <laughs> Is it 300? Oh no, that's a lot. I really shouldn't have done that. Come on. I love him, he's trying his best. Okay, he finally got us, that's fine. We can't keep this up forever anyway. I'll see if I can get 300. <laughs> Always committing on that final swing, that does it! Real good at blocking. <laughs> Damn it, old man. I want to hurt you. You can't hold off forever. Oh. He held off. 240 blows. Your page no more. Now you are a knight. That's it? That's it? You don't have anything more for that? Five hundred for the piece of heart. It's not. There's no way it's five hundred. That seems excessive. Yes, it is. You're lying. Let's just hand in the belts. This is the guy who wants them. He needs a lot of them. We have ten belts. Give us the new technique. It's genuinely 500. Oh no. Well, this might be painful. <laughs> Maybe we can hurt him if we do this often enough. You learned the hurricane spin. Hold B to build up your power and then release it to perform a whirlwind attack with your blade. Remember, it consumes magic power. Amazing little man, you did it. You have mastered the hurricane spin. At last, you've made a long-held dream come true. Oh, the joyful tears, they won't stop. Thought my tears had dried up long, long ago. There's nothing left for me to teach you. I'm certain now that you will save your sister Arl and bring her home to Outset. So I'm gonna have to just do this again. Oh no. We're locked in eternal combat. It's 500 times, yeah? I'm not gonna have to do this 300 and then stop and do it another 500, am I? What's 999? <laughs> I don't know if I want to get to that. A silver rupee. Okay, that's, that's pathetic, right? <laughs> All right, 500 times. Here we go. Oh, 
This old man's the fucking final boss. You can knock me senseless, you can defeat Ganon. Fucking long. I'm 10% of the way. Like, what's worse is I can actually fuck it up, and if I mess up, then it's like I have to do the entire thing again. You know what? I might just go to a thousand. I'm making like one trip to the shops right now. I think I can do it. Gotta have faith. Last bell. See, I've only got one left now. He took the other ten. Do I do anything else with the belts now? Does he accept them? I gotta pay attention so much here. Slow and steady. Don't rush it. That was almost a disaster. Come on. You can sell the belts to Beedle. Okay. I guess that's all they're good for now, yeah. Get him away from the wall. 200 down! I need you to get away from the door. I need space to kill you. Gradually break your furniture in the fight. We're a quarter of the way there! <laughs> that one was close. How much health does this bad have? Like, I don't know. He's the hardest enemy in the game. He's already been able to withstand like so many blows. Oh! It's close. Past 300. This is how Miyamoto wants you to spend your time. And I'm gonna do it! 333, we're a third of the way. Yeah. 
He did something new there. He was like charging. He said, looked at it a little. He's changing his pace and. Sometimes he just like spices it up on a dime. I don't like it. Keeping you on your toes. Four hundred. <laughs> that could have been bad. I'm like rolling into his swings there as well. I don't I don't like that dodge. I don't like that one at all. I feel like I'm gonna get hit. <laughs> Little man really likes it though. No, you just punched me! He didn't even swing! He punched me! You bastard! No! I need to get at least 500. Don't you dare! Okay, I got the 500! Oh, I don't like this! We must continue! Principle now. You punched me. You didn't even take a sword swing. Living on the edge. <laughs> so focused. You can tell because like, I've just like completely shut up. It's like I don't want to jeopardize it. Five hundred and eighty-four blows. You've improved. Bro, if you have a fine sword with I'm certain you could do even better. Little man, take this. We got the piece of heart. We got the piece of heart. We don't need to do a thousand. You are now close to the death of the old man. <laughs> Oh, look at this, like, little man hates him. <laughs> you piece of shit. Who would have got out of spite? My, my finger's actually very sore from having to hold, like, the target button. It's actually aching. <laughs> I need to stop. Some of you guys are okay on Outside Island.
But the old man who lives in this house. You want to watch yourself tonight, pal. Subscribe for more threatening content. Uh, where is the pig? He ducks, Tim? You think you're so smart, little man, huh? Wait till I unleash the wrath of the internet on you. That's him, guys. That's where he lives. Okay, I need to... Change it the day. We need to get the big pig. Time to leak his address and his IP. I don't know if he has an IP. This man doesn't look like he has the internet. What are you doing, pot lady? So you little man. Looks as though you're safe. That's good to know. Ever since you left, our lovely island has become a horrible place to live. Every night now when the sun disappears, all monsters appear and tear across the island, causing havoc. It's frightening, so frightening. Oh, here's the guy with his pig. It's a big pig now. Little man, you made it back. Isn't our pig just mind-bogglingly huge? We caught him after you left the island, but who knew he'd get so big? Even if, even if I want to take him out for a walk, he's so heavy now that it's all I can do. That all I can do is just heave him over the fence. Say, little man, you look pretty strapping. But you could lift him. Would you do me a favor and take this guy for a walk? I think you might need to have the boots to lift this- well, the, the, the gloves to lift this guy. Let's toss him down there real quick. Okay, so, one of the fish lets you in on this. Toss him there. If you put down bait, this guy will dig for treasure. And if you do it on the black spots, it gives you rewards. There's one all the way over there. There we go, we gotta go for a stroll. Is there one on top of the hill? I can't remember. God, I hope there isn't. He's so powerful. <laughs> Look a little bad go. He's very frustrated. This is unbelievably heavy. It's a strong wooden bridge. Oh, basically doesn't just fall through it, yeah. Okay, there's some spots here. What was he feeding that pig? Everything. Oh, we can't get that one. Hang on. He's having a little bit of trouble. Mr. Pig, come back. There he goes. No, the gulls are gonna eat it! Oh, it's okay. There we go! Peace out! Um... Is that all I gotta do? I think that's it. Give him some more bait there. Come on, you see it, yeah? There you go. Why the hell is the piece of heart there? It's just hidden, ain't it? You gotta interact with all the game's mechanics to find everything. Th there might be something in this house. I don't know if we ever went inside here. 
I'm asleep till please don't bother me till after nightfall. Can't remember who's in here. Man, it's that you, little man. Whoa, you gotta stare at me there, buddy. Thought more, more of those monsters had come to harass me. I tell you, there's been a lot of strange things going on here at night lately. I haven't gotten a good night's sleep in ages because of it, and I love sleep. In fact, I saw something really odd just a little while ago. Of course, this is back before the bridge was destroyed. It was up in the fairy woods near the old dried up fountain. I saw this tall girl who glowed like a fairy, which was odd enough, but then she vanished into that rock. Okay, that's the fairy up there. We got that one already. Just rob the back room of his house, which is only accessible via crawl space for some reason. Thank you. Sammy, thank you for a thousand bits. I've just ordered golden balls for the Wii Online, but we'll expect that in your P.O. box. Great. <laughs> Can't wait. Thank you very much. Oh, that's gonna be an awful game. Thank you to everyone who has sent stuff to the P.O. Box, too. I've been having trouble kind of getting the letters out to people. I'm hoping I'll have a more concrete update soon. I, I do appreciate everyone who has actually sent something there. I feel like every time I wanted to do something to acknowledge the P.O. Box on stream, it's like backfired or something unexpected has happened. We very well may just get a stream at some point where I'll just go through the mail that way. Because I do want to acknowledge it properly. Oh no, the gremlins. Get out of here! Is this spot worth it? That's for the pig, isn't it? That's so far. Oh, that's so fuck. You're not. All right. All right, okay, we'll do it. We'll do it. We'll also go into this guy's home. Just hop in here. And break everything. <laughs> I sure hope nothing bad happens in my exposed attic. I think they're going to be freaked out if they see me now. So glad you're safe, little man. I, did you hear something in the attic, by the way? I think there's a monster up there. Okay, I gotta, I gotta take the pig. Down he goes. This is gonna take a while. For some reason this small island has all the hardest challenges in the game hidden away on it. One of them is simply patience. If only this was a movie. Pretty, pretty slow paced movie. How are y'all doing? Y'all well? <laughs> 
You good? He's throwing it faster. We're gonna have to toss him over some of it. I think it's about on par, but he's less predictable after you throw him. Don't do it, Chew. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. Let's continue on a merry way. The Simon is kicking my ass. I almost want to carry the pig instead. Like we know this study task is very difficult. So we're gonna give you the option of an equally difficult task. Can you hold this rather large rock for an hour? Alternate progression paths in life. Could probably die. <laughs> I just attack the pig and run to the spot. Well, then I have to calm down the pig afterwards. So we get in a lot of trouble. It's less variables in moving parts here, right? That's how we're gonna do it. Oh, I need to get past the trees. Okay, go pig! This reminds me of me and my ex-wife. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, she's got friends. I didn't mean to hit you. All right, get out of here. I got violent fast. This would be a great job for the Chuckster. <laughs> it would be. Oh, uh huh? He just chucks it to the top. We need the Chuck Mafia. Okay, this this better be good. There was a piece of heart for the last one. It's gotta be of greater value than that. Or this is gonna be a colossal disappointment. Oh no, he's too powerful! We lost him. Oh no, he's coming! <laughs> Holy shit! Well, we're very badly injured now. Uh, I'm gonna go get some more soup off Grandma. You gotta down it all. I think you can only have one thing of soup at a time. This is the most damage of any enemy in the game. Yeah, that that two shot killed me. It's pretty scary. Uh, let me just check one thing. Sorry, I'm good. Oh. My dear sweet little man, please take some more soup. What happened to the last soup I gave you? 
Why do you smell a pork, little man? Thanks, little gran. Oh, good. Little gran is a very sweet nickname for her. <laughs> okay. Uh, we gotta leave the island, I think, now. I forget that the sword glows a bit now, too. That's cool. And it's because I have the new power. Beetle, do you have anything on your shop ship we need? I have his voucher. I never, I never gave it to him, did I? Oh. I'm gonna need some more bait. Thank you. I need sixty for gold membership. Thank you. That's gonna take a while. Okay, but let's see what this does. We got a complimentary voucher. You want to use a complimentary ID? Okay, here it goes. Okay. Isn't it nice to be complimented once in a while? It is, isn't it? It's gone now. <laughs> I don't know what I expected. Hopefully the next voucher for 60 points is, is better. We, uh, we live in hope. Right, well, let me go and island up and just get sidetracked one moment more. I want to see if the reefs are active now. It does give you full heal if you need it. I mean, that's nice. I guess. It's something. It's not much. Shouldn't expect a reward. It's a teaching point for life. That's what Beetle's really trying to do. He knows little man's just a little man. Like, where the fuck are his parents, too? Like, your, your grandmother is raising you. No father figure in sight. Gotta clean this up. I believe there's a reward at each reef if you destroy all the cannons. Kind of how they operate. There's not much else going on at them outside of that. Yeah, there's something. The piece of heart chart would be the handiest one we could possibly find, I think. I don't know, is there a treasure chart? Chart? That'll tell us where the remaining ones are. I wouldn't put it past this game. Is there a chart chart? Pizza Hut chart. I don't think there's a Pizza Hut chart. That feels like it'd be a placemat or something in the restaurant. You've mistaken it. We're trying to help, like, the character that is Pizza the Hut escape, like, a burger or something. I don't know. Every restaurant had him. Like, help Ronald McDonald and friends. Get the Hamburglar. Okay, 
There's a map. You just Google the nearest Pizza Hut. That's it. That's the chart. Yep. It's all you need, really. Oh God. Okay. Well, that's the reef clear. Someone, someone, remember that. That 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 one's done, right? <laughs> We don't- we don't need to go back there. It's gonna- I hope there's like one guy who's been watching all the VODs or something that knows every island we've already completed. Cause I have no idea. Okay, we can go to Shark Island next. I think the main thing that's gonna get us is the towers. Cause like, these are so sparse and just everywhere. Like, have I got this one already? I have no idea. What happened to the main quest? Look, we're only two hours into the stream of saying we'd start with the main quest. That's not bad in terms of time. Right? Just swim with the sharks here. Don't mind me, lads. Oh, this was like the heavily guard. No, this is a different heavily guard tower. Don't need any more joy. Take them all out. Give me that. All the side quests will eventually lead to the main street. Yep. Oh, the main quest, do you mean? How long has Dan been sidetracked? How long- how many hours consecutively have we been playing this game? <laughs> Something close to that. Because I have the boots here, I think I can do this island now, too. Okay, we'll do at least one dungeon tonight, right? That's my promise. Gonna get at least one in. Get to the main quest in hour five. Check back in three hours from now. And it'll be time to check what's happening in the story. Is there anything up here? No, I what platforms I've done. Okay, I might not have done this one because these guys are here. I think he's dead. Yeah, that, okay, that, that just instantly killed him. Should have done the fire one, they'll die faster. What's your opinion of Spirit Tracks? I, I really like Spirit Tracks. I think it's got like one of the best depictions of Zelda in like any of the games. It's good fun. The trains is a bit weird. For those who are not familiar, one of the sequels to this game is instead of a boat, Link has a train. And you conduct your train across the land on a merry old adventure. It's very different. Uh, it's got some absolutely awful side quests in it too, unfortunately. There's like some painful ones. Uh, but it's got like a lot of good dungeons. And like a lot of good bits of kit. I'm 
trouble with the flute? No, not really. You have to use the microphone to play the pipes in that one too. Okay, let's see. Shark Isle. It's getting a bit rough again, but it's fine really. Just say just just ignore him. I'm more scared of you. Yeah, Spirit Tracks is really good. Link Between Worlds is one of the best ones. It's way better than Link to the Past. In my opinion. Look at that. See, there's the tree. It's all growing up. Let's hit it. Okay, I need to activate all the switches on this island. So there's one. That's the main one we needed to get that we couldn't before. We need to hit this one. Stand on this one. And you need a hammer for this one. I got it. It gives you a tornado as well in case you want to get to the top bit of the island. I believe there's a blue chew up there. If you need it. Sell the tier list. Maybe do another tier list at some point. Could be fun. Gonna have the hottest takes on your favorite fast food. No, I, I wanted to do one for Pokemon more than anything. Because, like, that's just one that's, like... Dear to my heart, and I know I've got some strong opinions there. So I just think it's like an interesting chat. Just everywhere. Uh, we need to get you out of your armor. Kill all your friends. Come on. Oh, he still got his hat, so it's not like it's popping off him. How many of there can there be? Oh my god, it's a battlefield. It's still coming! Get him! Oh my god! Okay, uh, drink the soup. Okay, this is a gold one, so we're near the end. I think. Gold ones and red ones tend to be the most elite. Oh, I vaguely remember. I don't know if that's how it actually works. But it feels like it should. The amount of weapons on the battlefield! God, come on, little man. And is in sight. Yeah. 
Keep going! Jesus Christ! <laughs> That's just a basic chest for all that. That's not worth it. Piece of heart minimum for that. Look how many enemies I had to slaughter. Little man just took on an army. <laughs> oh my god, well, that island's clear. You could tell a war was fought here. Like, seriously. <laughs> Something bad happened there. Jesus Christ. How you doing, boat? That was the island I was trying to get distracted and find, too. It wasn't even the right island. But we'll go there now. Ever consider playing a randomizer for this game? Ah! Uh, maybe. I don't know. I don't really have, like, a modded console or anything like that, so I, I don't know how to set stuff like that up. I don't want to break anything. At the moment, I, I kind of just want to experience this game for what it is. Uh, the, the, like, this game is like one of my favorite things when I was a kid. Still one of my favorite Zeldas. I kind of just want to relive it, you know? Okay, th this tower is heavily fortified. off those guys down there. Come on, there's gotta be something good in here. I don't think I've ever seen this one. Come on. There we go. Big boy chest. New RT lore dropped, he was a kid once. Someone update the wiki. He was born! Whoa! No way! <laughs> How long have you been holding back this knowledge? You mean he wasn't born a boomer? I, I was just born like this... This old. Advanced elderly age. Literally just came out the womb. Oh hey, what ticky talkies we watching? Oh god, put him back! We don't want him! Every time he says ticky tacky, I die inside. <laughs> I still love because I like because like my friend Josie like legit has to send me TikToks through like Facebook Messenger, just so she can share some of them with me, because I'm just not on it. So every few days I'll just get like a message from her, and it's just like another meme. Chuck that. Big head gone. Down here. We got another little dungeon. I think you have to, yeah, you have to clear a few rooms here. Unlock the big one. Oh, it's another bot. It's like another gauntlet. 
Fight for your life, little man. That is Facebook, therefore dad is a boober. I, I don't use Facebook anymore. Who uses Facebook anymore, honestly? I, uh, I, I just use the messenger bit of it. <laughs> it's handy. <laughs> Got people added on it already, right? I'm stuck in my ways. Does Dan still use Yahoo or Hotmail? <laughs> it feels just inappropriate telling someone you have a Hotmail these days. <laughs> like, I don't know what it is. Like, wait, what the fuck is that? Like, I don't want to message you there. I don't want to send an email. Are <laughs> you old enough to have used AIM? <laughs> What's that? Listen, I had to be reminded of my own mortality enough last week for my birthday, alright? I don't need this right now. Past them. Come on. It's the wrong one. Come on. There we go. RT gets old and Chat gets young. <laughs> Hey Dan, love the content. Just a reminder that we are all going to be consumed by the void. <laughs> Everything okay today, guys? You seem you seem a bit agitated. <laughs> I'm worried about you. Nothing is ever okay. <laughs> yeah, that that's why I'm worried. What's going on in the old head? How's your day been? What you been up to? Contemplating the ceaseless march of time into the great beyond. That's nice. I had toast for lunch. What did you have? A servant of existential despair. For the, we are never getting any younger. That's great. Crabs. Oh! He heard you. He's not okay with that. The ice cream man is here. How dare you mention a dessert in my vicinity? Do you know who I am? Let's just uh, pick up another piece of the Triforce, I guess. We've almost got them all now. Only three more. We're getting them way too quick. Mm. 
never get his ice cream. I've never had ice cream from that guy once. I only ever hear him when I'm streaming. I don't know if he even shows up on the days where I'm not streaming. I'll be honest with you. I've never seen him. Okay, uh, I need to go Sudden Fairy- I'll check Sudden Fairy Island, just make sure I've got that one. And then we'll head to Headstone Island. We just gotta mark some of these off while we're here. He's trying to locate you via sound. <laughs> He'll sell his ice cream on a different street next week. <laughs> Just to see. <laughs> Maybe he's in Twitch chat. He's gonna show up one of these days like, you never buy my ice cream. <laughs> like, on the contrary, I'm running like a massive advertising campaign for this man. He's somehow become like a background character of my channel and just showing up on my streams in general. Simply by being in proximity to me. Like business is going to be booming for this guy. So all of you just want ice cream now. He could sponsor you. You pay me. Not getting any more promotion. I'll start shutting my window. You get doxed, you he's gonna become rich. Holy shit, the ice cream guy. That, is that all of them? Get out of here. Oh, little man, don't die. Is there really nothing for all that? There was so many cannons there. Oh, maybe I got it already. I think I can see a box. Well, uh... So out we go. Let's drink some more of that. I think Dan has gone off the deep end. Is this what happens when you get old? <laughs> Just ignore the bullies. Ignore them. You're stronger than them. They'll go away first. Okay, where's where's the next cannon? You're being bullied, just stop. Oh my god, it worked! He's still buying Tato Land. Um, how, how expensive is it? They don't have a price quote for Tato Park. Fiverr. I don't know. It's pretty steep. At least seven. The press, just be happy. Advice for life. That's what society wants you to do. Oh no. <laughs> I 
You know, your leg broken, just walk it off. You'll be okay. Okay, I need... Lighter. I can't believe this one leaf is basically the central mechanic behind Breath of the Wild. Like, this is where it started. It's influenced so much since. Another treasure chart. Keep pressing up thinking that's open in the maps for some reason. I don't know why. I feel like that's a bind in another different game. Open the chart. Okay, they're all open again. Happy birthday, how old are you? 35, I'm guessing. <laughs> It's a wild guess. Oh, Jesus. He's older. <laughs> no, stop that. Mentally or physically? <laughs> I'll have you know that when I did We Fit, and it gave me the age prediction. I got my actual age at the time. I was 23 years young then, and it guessed I was 23. Peak of physical condition. He's bragging about we fit. He's lying. No, that's documented in a video. I'm not. We fit's been out for 20 years. He is 43 now. It's not. No, it's not been out that long. It came out in like what? 2009? 8? Twenty three isn't young. I'm not 23 anymore. Oh, hang on. I gotta, I gotta do one thing real quick as well. Hang on one sec. Yeah, sorry, I gotta take one minute just real quick. While everyone's calling me old, I need to quickly figure out how to use the internet. I'm gonna take a quick break, and you just can make fun of me behind my back, right? You can you can look at Mareep. Mareep will keep you company. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back.
But look. How y'all do? Are you well? Dan just lied on Twitter and said he was 27. Time to cancel him. <laughs> no. Uh, so you spotted already what I have to do there. <laughs> I, uh... Yeah, I, I mean, I might be able to show it just... Eh, I'll do that. I have to pop out. They wanted me to pop out a tweet just for... Because it, it was like a sponsor thing still uh, for the Magic the Gathering thing. So there's things that come with that. And one of those was they want me to share a tweet. So I was popping that picture up for the gang. But look, it was 27th, right? That's what I say there. It doesn't say like 247. 27 years old. Okay. Highlight it. 27. Fake news. No. Nope. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Forgot a few zeros there. This looks like a colorization photo. This was in black and white. Wait a minute. Uh, God damn it. Oh, how are y'all doing? I got my water as well. Hydration is important. Show us your birth cert then, nothing to hide. Yeah, I'm sure that will end well. Do you need my social security number? Just to confirm that I'm still me. Let me give as much information as I possibly can. Did we, did we get the chest there? We did get the chest there. I got distracted because you're all, like, chat's gaslighting me. Uh. I need to hop to the island real quick. You know what we're gonna do? Because you're all making fun of how old I am? I'm gonna do two dungeons tonight. gonna do them back to back. Hey, who you call calling old now, huh? This man is speedy and knows how to play games. Liar. <laughs> it's not a lie. Just you wait. Look, we're at the first one of them here. Gear it on up for it. We're gonna do both these dungeons tonight. Prove it to us right now. I'm gonna. Big head destroyed. Oh, what's this long-winded song? There appear to be marks that indicate specific directions. This one's a bit of a mouthful. No way, he's actually doing it! <laughs> Holy shit! Eric God's lyric. Just like that. Oh, great hero chosen by the Master Sword. My name is LaRuta. I am a Zora Sage. For an age, I offer my prayers here in the Earth Temple, praying that the power to repel evil would ever remain within the Master Sword. 
And yet, unfortunately due to Ganondorf's evil designs, the Master Sword you hold has lost its power. After his defeat at the hands of the Hero of Time, Ganondorf was sealed away, but not for all time. He was revived, and he returned to Hyrule in a red rash. He attacked this temple and stole my soul, knowing that he had, had to remove the power contained in that enchanted blade. In order to return the power to repel evil to your sword, you must find another to take my steed in this temple and ask the gods for their assistance. You must find the one who carries on my bloodline, the one who holds this sacred instrument. Nothing can stop the flow of time or that passing of generations. But the fate carried within my bloodline endures the ravages of all the years. It survives. The song you just conducted is one that will open the eyes of the new sage and will awaken within that sage the melody that will carry our prayers to the gods. <laughs> the old man's like, oh! That's amazing! The door that blocks your way will only open when the sage plays that song. May the winds of fortune blow with you. Their fish, surely they're enjoying the fact everything is an ocean. She's just living it up. Ever since Ganon came around, it's been booming for real estate. The world is so much better. That's Two-Eyed Reef there. Did I go to Two-Eyed Reef? I did. I cleared that out there. I cleared out like a good few of them here. Okay, well, we need to go to Dragon Roost. Uh, let's do that right now. Watch me not get sidetracked. Direct path. Don't understand why the fish evolved. Yeah, it's a bit weird that one. You think the fish would stay the same because they just have so much ocean now. But instead they just became the bird people. There's a bonus objective around the back of the island I could get right now, but I'm not gonna. Objective focus streamer. Look at me go. Gotta go through the post office. Postal assistant that needed feathers for his girlfriend? I can't stop the chat. I'm a busy man. Wait, no, that's the wrong way. Hang on. <laughs> I think it's around here. Can't stop the chat. Look at me go! Uh, Will of the Winds, thanks for a thousand bits. Uh, the Legend of Zelda has a big focus of the sky is the realm of the divine. The Rito are made to be even more divine due to the Great Sea's needs. Oh, okay, so is that, is that why they have w wings then? You need to be a bit holier. Just seeing if there's anything there. Oh, little man, you're okay. You know, Prince Kamali's been asking me all about your adventures, little man. I can rest easy now that I've seen you safe and sound with my own eyes. Prince Kamali turned into a fine young adult, hasn't he? Recently, he's even begun doing things on his own without my guidance. Every conversation still ends up centered on you, though, little man. Watching Prince Kamali grow up fills me with pride. It makes me a little sad as well. I wonder if this is how a mother feels. Oh, but just listen to me go on. How weird I must sound. But better continue practicing so that I can be useful around here too. If 
perform music like this is an important duty of an attendant. Let's go. Is that the Wind Waker? Wow! Little man, will you conduct for me? Wonder how I'll do. First try, I remember the song. Didn't even have to look it up. He's just that good. I'm sorry. It's almost as if I forgot. Something I've forgotten is trying to be remembered. Oh, I feel... Oh! The songs hit a little too hard. The concussion song! Every time I play this, my enemies are knocked unconscious. What a wonderful ability! Oh, you don't want to be on the dance floor when the chloroform conga hits. Oh, no. Just now a sage spoke to me. She spoke so gently. Something, something that I must do. Little man, thanks to you, I've been awakened to the knowledge that I'm a sage of the Earth Temple. It's actually something that I can do to help this world. It's incredible. I bet my teacher knew all about this. Little man, please, you must take me to the Earth Temple. You must hurry and wake the power to repel evil that sleeps within the Master Sword. Let's go now. Quickly and quietly. This is some of the best music in the entire game. But you don't get to hear it much. It's pretty good. I just want him to remember me as a simple attendant. Oh, <laughs> didn't even say goodbye. Hold on, Medley. This boat does 0 to 180 in a fraction of a second. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. Cling on to the side. <laughs> well, we're gone now. Okay, this way. <laughs> And then she actually died. It is cool, you have a companion for this bit, see? She comes with you in the boat. Vlog wish. <laughs> I don't I don't know if we have time. 
She needs to make like a music recording. We gotta get her there. We gotta do a collab. <laughs> Yeah, let's get her to the temple. We'll, we'll, ha we'll have some opportunities for content here. I know a good spot here. Got a good feeling. Bradley, listen carefully to what I'm about to tell you. The temple ahead is the nest of an evil creature. The same creature that stole the life of your predecessor, the sage. It's a dark and frightening place. That is why if you do nothing else, then at least do this. If the little man comes near you and presses the air to call you, then be silent and follow closely behind him. If the little man presses A, allow him to lift you and if need be, fly and carry him through the air. And little man, if Bentley gets stuck and cannot continue in the, te the temple, use the Wind Waker to conduct the song you learned in the Tower of the Gods. Do you understand? Little man, protect Medley, and Medley, protect little man. The power to repel evil shall surely be returned to the Master Sword. Wait, the boat the boat is so mean. Medley, I need you to shut up now. Little man has a mission. Okay, so it's the two of us against the world now. Wait, 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 I, I, I can do this. There we go. <laughs> Old man memory. Stop that. Stone is destroyed. Surely someone could get in if they just had a big enough hammer. Doesn't need to be a magical incantation always. Enough dynamite will get you into places. <laughs> she just jumps! Well, guess I'll go with... So we gotta get through together. She's coming with us. Welcome to the Earth Temple. You'll be out. Medley, you might want to back up from the fire, maybe. Come on. You're all right. Just you know, you know. Be smart about it. I need her to go over there. <laughs> well. I guess I gotta <laughs> save her here. Yeah, Medley, you really need to back up. Let's try it again. Here, come with me. Well, little man. Not very confident, but I think I should try to fly. I'll fly where you tell me to. Just tap A to keep me airborne. Are you ready? Just use the Wind Waker to guide me. Oh yeah, you need to use the song and split them up here. I think I've done that puzzle wrong every single time I've ever gone through here. At least like the first time. Okay, we need to hop over here. Drop her off. Take control of her brain. You have to play as her, see? She can fly. 
very unique gameplay mechanics for this dungeon. Wind Waker's got quite a few of these. Hey, Medley. Come with us. Medley. Is she... Is she gonna follow? Medley! I'll, I'll pick her up in a moment. I'll go back for her. I need these guys to come over here. Don't like the light. Come on. It's one. It's two. Come on over. Open this up too. I'm sure she's doing okay back there. Oh, there's something you can do with those guys too, I think. It's all kind of coming back. This is all because the King of Red Lions was like, Remember, Medley, I need you to not have any agency. Do exactly as little man tells you. Let him conduct your brain. There we go, we got her. And that is the mecha the other mechanic you can use here. You press A. Shine the light and make invisible things visible. Yeah, that's what you do with those. They can break too. If you press back while she's holding it, she'll maintain the position for it. See? So you can play with light in this dungeon. Gives you a handy marker on the wall, too, where it's pointing. And we got the map. Looking for the treasure chart more than anything here. Ah, there's an item or some shit, too, you know, that's neat, but... Give us the treasure. Need a piece of heart. But we're always after. Don't go in there. Actually, I think I need to go in there, don't I? I can I can fly I can fly her up there. Oh no, that's like the prison she gets taken to if like she's captured. We don't want to just put her in there. I remember. Okay, yeah. Need to light the way to over here. Okay, there we go. Come with me. We're not supposed to immediately send her to the prison. What does this do? Opens the door, but... Yeah, you, you, you kind of... Have to leave her behind. You wait there. I think people really remember this dungeon because some of the light puzzles are quite convoluted to work out. So 
So like, it really sticks with you. Like, it's all coming back to me already what I need to do here. There's a chest. I think Medley was one of my first crushes as a kid. Bless. <laughs> Look at our little bird beak. Okay, you have to wait there, and we'll go on into the next room. Small key. Hopefully, the ceaseless void here does not catch her. <laughs> no! I was trying to get him to come up. Okay, she'll still be waiting. No. Get out of here! Okay, so yeah, you have to let Medley get captured first, apparently. That's the trick to it. Okay, come on, Medley. You're gonna act as bait here. In you go. There you go. The hand monsters are gone. Let's line you up again. Even she just stands there, Medley is pretty brave just letting shit happen. <laughs> she just doesn't question it. Oh, we need something else to get through here. Okay, I gotta go back. Medley, where'd she... She just left... She could have locked the door. She could have just left you for dead in there. Okay, there's a key door here, so let's just grab that. Uh, Medley, get him! Oh, look out! Okay, I need... Get the light in here. I don't know how exactly the light's coming in, because like we're quite far underground. But this all looks like it's like daylight or something. Like it, it can't possibly be. And here. I wanna just use them. on each switch. More mirrors in the wall directing it all the way here. It's just like an elaborate system. That's been set up. That light passes through water and glass. I mean, I... I, I know that, right? But like, we're quite far underground right now. We fell down a hole to get here, remember? The light's only gonna go so far under the water. That's what I mean. Holes like two foot deep. <laughs> We're just on the surface of the ocean. But then, like, how's, how has no one found this? Oh, Medley, hang on. There you go. Go in. Take her. Just not me. She's fair game. Thanks, Medley. gonna give you some light. Uh, 
now we need to use medley and destroy like every single thing in this room that we possibly can. Sound it more violent than it actually is. I'm struggling. Come on, Medley. Come on. Get rid of the elephant statue. These ones too. Come on. I don't think you really need to get the upper ones there, but you know, we're gonna do it anyway. Just that extra. There you go. Okay, slot all these in. Let's see what they do. Let's destroy ancient ruins. Little man would not be a great archaeologist. He's just like desecrating the entire place. And a joy pendant. Oh boy! <laughs> oh joy. He's a perfect influencer. Oh, he's doing well there. I'm surprised there's another like pot there already, because like normally that's like halfway through the dungeon. Okay, there you go, Medley. Up here. Oh wait, uh yeah, you just you just rest there, Mo. Give me that. Hey. Little man, do not worry about straying away from Medley in the de depths of the temple. Just relax and open your dungeon map. It will show you, me you Medley's location as well, so you can easily confirm her whereabouts. It's okay, you can abandon her, she'll be fine. Sorry. I meant to get you through the door that time. Get him, Medley! Yeah, I think I need to get the light on him. Hide up here, Amo. There you go. Hey, go get him! I think these are like Tingle's ancestors. They look a bit like them, don't they? They must be purged. We must get them all. Tingle Bloodline cannot be allowed to exist. Oh, speaking of Tingle, there's a statue in here somewhere, isn't there? I have to look up where that is. I forgot. Okay, it'll be after we clear the large statue we saw earlier. Okay, so it's not for a little bit. I think the only one I need to go back for now, too, is just the one in Dragon Roost. I've kept up to date on them all outside of that. Uh, let's get the elephants just across the way. There we go. Oh, I can't wait for another joy pendant. It's, uh... Lining itself up to be exactly that. Yeah. 
There we go. <laughs> Thanks to the joy game. Okay, come on, man. Oh, come on. You can fly. There you go. Stick with me. He's really struggling. <laughs> I'll just fight him down here. Oh, no. No. Uh, press every button. Don't let him scream at you. Little man, you're okay. distance yeah, just just set him on fire I'm sure that'll help Anything else in here? Is there even a point to this room? No, it's gotta be something in this one. There we go. You got a small key. That's not the usual pose he makes. Not these guys to give me PTSD. They're, these guys are terrifying. They just scream at you. That's their attack. Did she ever make it up the steps? No, she... T she ran back down him. Come on. Come on, Medley. Come on, you're doing great. Come on. Take him two at a time. Oh, she's gone again. She was right here. Good boy. Oh. Trying to see if I could just smash him to pieces. Okay, I can get him this way. I'm gonna go quick. That, that was really not worth it. Bombs work, do they? Okay, thank you. I'll use a bomb. You might need one. That's no, that's your hip. Just take it in turns. You just wait. Wait your turn. It just makes it easier. Another <laughs> one there. Was there a third one at all, or is it just two? I think it was just two. I ran out. I think he's still going.
Hammer also works. I tried the hammer there, but it didn't seem to do it. I thought the hammer worked. Sure, we're all good now. Be grand. I think this is gonna give the item to us that we want. You got the mirror shield. Its shiny surface reflects beams of light. Hold the the shield and use L to aim its reflection. So, do you remember how the previous shield was like a treasured family heirloom that your grandma looked after for generations? Yeah, you're just gonna abandon that. And this is your new shield. It's way better. And it like matches your sword now so it's cooler. Don't need the girl now. <laughs> no, we, we we still need her for some bits. The puzzles involve Boltia from here. But yet there are some handy bits here. So I, I can just kind of fight these guys off. Very hard to be precise with it. Okay, let's get medley. You airmailed it back to grandma. But we're in a dungeon. I don't have it anymore. <laughs> I don't think so. Family heirloom's gone. Like little man doing in his next vlog, like, yeah, sorry, Grandma, had to leave that treasured heirloom behind. It was just too old, you know. This is the new merch everyone's talking about. Uh, I think, yeah, I'm pretty much good here, aren't I? Oh, wait, wait. Come on. Call her down. Come on, Medley. She's scared of the height. God love her. Toss her off. It's too old. It came out last week. Need to line her up. Go. And now we need to reflect the beam around the corner, see? That's the form that a lot of the puzzles from here on out are gonna take. There you go. Uh, there is something else over here that I want to get before we go deeper. I think we're most of the dungeon true already. I forget that this one, how, this one is a bit short. I guess the longer puzzles are still coming up. Okay, we gotta go back here real quick. Yeah, all right, Medley. Just need to act as bait once more. Okay, go stand there. I didn't realize how badly injured I am, too. I should probably do something about that, shouldn't I? <laughs> I don't 
only have fairies right now. You gotta be careful. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be another droid pendant, isn't it? You can tell. <laughs> you can always tell. <laughs> so much joy. This feels like such a waste. Take control again. You gotta activate the statue. It's one. That's two. And we get to go deeper. Going well. Yeah, it's just a fun one. I I kind of like the light puzzles. It's just a bit different. They have like a few dungeons in this game where like, you have to team up with someone, which is cool. Oh god! Okay, there's a hat there. This is where the Tingle statue is, isn't it? Has to be. Medley, you're okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sure that's fine. You just stand there, Mo. Earth Tingle statue. It's cool and damp and smells like mold. Come on, Medley. Oh no, I might have got her stuck. She can fly though, it's okay. This is the one I mentioned I got by accident. It just looks so suspicious, that corner. I'm not surprised. Cross here. Keep going. Don't mind the skeletons. Get a merry tune out. It's just like the real tingle. It's damp and moldy. <laughs> better medley or the leaf glider well, the leaf glider is way easier to maintain you know to worry about health and well-being with medley it's like responsibility oh there's there's like a zombie there hang on let me get you real quick medley you're fine it's just a rock, it builds character. We're gonna be living in this temple soon. So, go there. If the light hits the big mirror, uh, it produces even more light, somehow. A magnifying mirror. This way. Concussions never hurt anyone. 
Like, you don't even remember them. How bad can it be? Uh. Good luck, Medley. Oh, no! I can't get her. The playing catch! Uh. Hang on, I've almost got it. She'll be okay. She'll be all right. No way she hasn't been before. <laughs> Uh, there is another chest in this room. I assume it's for beating all these guys. There we go. Small price to pay for a small key. <laughs> Look, I'm just making her accept her fate in the ground a little sooner, you know? It's gonna be joy. <laughs> no, we're good. It wouldn't do that to us. There's only one more chest on this floor. The boss is on this floor as well. Oh, you need to get the light, like, back upstairs or something. Yeah, it's something like that. I think I remember it. Did that bridge just veer back? Can anyone see that? Yeah, there she is. She's in prison. <laughs> Take control of her mind and set her free. There we go. You didn't really need my help there, Medley, actually. This is all because of what the King of Red Lions said, isn't it? He's actually a bastard. Like, he, took, he put Tetra in a cupboard. Medley has no agency anymore. He lied about, like all the Hyrule to us for the entire game. This boat, this boat is awful. It's so bad. Okay, I have a small key there. These lead into the same room, do they? Oh, okay, but I, I see what's happening there. That's gonna really mess you up. So you wanna go this way. There you go. Technically, he's a medieval king. He's allowed to do so by state. Well, I mean, if the governing authority says it's okay, then surely it must be. Oh, no. Don't know if I agree with that reasoning. I used the small key for this room. What am I what am I supposed to do? Is there no light? Oh, I must have to go the other way first and then you hop back in here or something. Come on, Medley. Just gonna bypass you. There we go. Sit up there, Mo. 
Oh, yeah, that's what you're doing here. You're, like, lining up the mirror. And then you're gonna... This is gonna unlock light or something. There we go. Okay, Medley didn't need to come for this, but that's okay. Medley, please. Oh, no! No, I can't save her! Get out of there, Medley! Get out of there! They're playing catch with her! Put her down! Where is she? Put her down! Oh god damn it. Oh no, she's still in that room. I'm not gonna walk in there and she's just immediately taken her. Am I? You can use the leaf to blow away the curse. Oh I did not know that, thank you. <laughs> That is wonderful to know. Just dodge the zombies. Uber is here. Yo. Have you gotten your private island? Uh, yeah, I've already got the piece of Triforce from that. Uh, I think we're only missing three now. We should, we should be able to get that tomorrow, like, no problem. I'm not trying to explain this. The light that I can reflect off of my instrument can be redirected using your shield. Yeah, so they're, they're just telling you how you're supposed to get everything here. Clear it up a bit. Because you can't really get that one unless you do something like that. Medley, you need to use your legs. Don't listen to the boat. Doesn't have your interests at heart. Boat's not here, let her speak. He's like watching on the stone. Don't be, don't be getting any notions now. <laughs> Hate this boat. Okay, we need to line this up. Time to use geometry. <laughs> Your maths teacher would like this dungeon. Next time you're in class, tell him you know a good place. I'd be glad you showed him. You mean physics, right? Same thing. Look, we don't discriminate. Go, Medley! Cut that one back. Sure, Medley's okay. Let me just pick this up. Not Joy, so that's actually all right. Just dodge the deadly zombies. Well, you're fine. It's not that scary. It it will be if you don't move. Go, Medley.
She's okay. See? Her brain's perfectly functioning. She can still play. It's like when they do brain surgery, they ask you to do an activity to make sure you're alright. Except here, instead of surgery, it's just severe concussion. But she's fine. Down into the depths. Need the big key. Okay, medley! There's a ledge down there. I'll see you in a mo. I hope there's a ledge down there. Might be a kind of awkward otherwise. You're fine. No need to scream. Okay, yeah, this is pretty much the last rooms of the dungeon now. This is like the giant light puzzle. That you gotta work out. I remember this. I don't remember how you start it. There should be a way to turn on light. Oh yeah, it's this one here. You can move this. Only fell a hundred feet down, don't need the scream link. Exactly, like, if it was 200 feet, yeah, okay, fair enough. It's a baby fall, though. He's alright. Here's another one to push. Come on. How do I, how do I start the light here? That seems to be the main issue. Is it up here? Murder vlog. I think little man's not got any vlogs left in him right now. I think he's good. He's taking a break. He's had too much drama, you know, and now he's got to like kind of lie low a while till the coast is clear. Okay, there we go. Get that chest. YouTuber burnout, little man. Like, he's just tired. He's never even had anything to say in his vlogs. All he does is talks into the camera and asks people to like the content. That's it. It's taking time to reconsider his career. Don't be a joy pendant. Take it. Okay, we need a lot of mirror or something. Here. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I need to get those. <laughs> Hang on. It's like 90% of TikTok. I've I have a shocking confession, guys. I don't know how TikTok works. <laughs> this might surprise and sicken some of you. Okay, where, where are we putting you? Putting you over here. Ok, 
Okay, and then if we get madly... You point at the mirror now. Oh, madly, you need to stand on it. Come on. All these buttons and we use A for everything. Okay, that takes the light over here, which bounces it onto here. Can use this to destroy this. There's another mirror there. We're creating like infinite light, it's like a loop or something. It's like getting more and more intense. Oh, there's like a little side door there as well. There's the joy pendant. Yeah, there's always one of them there near. That was a little man not blind. Like his eyes are burning. But he's still a little man. That's something for that's gonna be old man's problem. Gonna be in a lot of trouble then. Okay, there we go. That's another one. Uh, I can go in here. Can't remember what's in here. Can I just defeat them with light. No, they're not really weak to light. Okay. What about copious amounts of bombs? It's like a shooting gallery. You can do your best to run. One of them's gonna get you. He's shuffling away. Come on. Can't dodge them all. You're a bastard. Come on. Doesn't even get a chance to do anything. <laughs> we were just having a nap. Come on. Oh no, he's not poor at all. Just kill him. Come on. There we go. Him and his friends are dead. is creating a lot of property damage. But who's gonna live here? Oh wait, Medley. Um. But, but with the, that, that's not my problem. Like, she doesn't need all this space. She doesn't need this much room. I don't, I don't think she's gonna miss, like, the sarcophagus with the undead skeletons room, right? Did this reset the entire puzzle? Oh no, it's just because Medley moved, right? It's kind of funny. Get her back. Uh, we need to reflect it over here. Can I get that side one? Yeah. Let me 
makes that a bit easier. It's called remodeling. <laughs> It's like, we just don't want to wait, like, spend too much time waiting to redo the walls, you know? Hired dynamite. Solves a lot of problems. There we go. There we go. Okay, so this is going really far now. Bring Medley over here. And stand up here. Does it put it in that mirror? That'll let me get one of the eyes. I need two of them still. Uh, so I need... I, I, I need to get that one out still. So just like... Eh, hang on. Put that there. This light is doing a lot of bending. Tear down another wall. Yep. And this should be the final mirror. Instead of asking her to move the light a little lower, you just take over her mind. That's because the King of Red Lions doesn't like agency. Got a real problem with anyone who thinks for themselves. He's not great. There we go. That's the last one. Come on. We did it. Oh, you can jump off that, no problem. See how it is. Medley, please. Take it. I, I can use the leaf on those, can I? I really should just do that. There we go. Get some of his armor down. Oh, he's coming. Sir, please. I need to deal with your friends. Always forget to actually just use the leaf like that. It's so good. Don't die, Daniel. I, look, little man's in the peak of physical condition right now, all right? He's got gamer posture. But you know he's doing well.
Big key. Oh no, little man reached 27. <laughs> Fate worse than death. Okay, come on, Medley. Uh, I think I just have to control her to get her to fly back up, don't I? Yeah, this is, the stairs are a bit broken. I can't just, like, tell her and let her do it herself. Okay, there you go. Now, wait there for me, my minion. There we go. Horrible architecture design. Went a bit overboard with their budget. Imagine you just design like a cavernous room like this in your home. What, what would you do with it? We don't really design stuff like that anymore these days, do we? It's all like, like everything we do is like a modern office block or a big pole or monument or something. We're not really all about like designing like the 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 suit. The t tombs of the beyond, or something like grand architectural design like that. It's just not in style anymore. Wait, is that the right way? Hang on. There we go. There we go, man. Like, you're all good. Please give us a fairy. Okay, well, I mean, I, ha I have two in captivity still, so we should be okay. Come on, Medley. Medley! This guy. Big boy. Doesn't like the light. He's a gamer. Throw him. Just clean him up a bit. <laughs> Hang on, little man. Oh, he walked into a spike. Hang on, little man. We can defeat him with gamer energy. He doesn't lose any mass despite losing a lot of his components. It's just the one now. Oh, it's moving! Oh, I hate it when he does that. So, that reverses the controls. Them all. We 
did it hitless. We only just accidentally walked into a spike at one point. Defeat it with gamer posture. Dying to this guy is like dying to pinwheel. Well, we did- that didn't happen. That didn't happen. We're all good. I can just pick this up now. Full heal. A little less anxious now. <laughs> Getting getting a little nervous in that one. There we are. On the ready. man has no idea what he's doing. He's just he's just constantly looping it. They're just playing the tunes themselves at this point. You open that bit of the sword. <laughs> you just forgot to pull down the flappy bits. It's more powerful now. There is but one last step before it becomes the true master sword once again. Little man, the power to repel evil is not yet fully awakened. Complete the awakening of the Master Sword, you must go to the Wind Temple for one more prayer. Now, little man, step into the light behind you and return to the surface. Your next duty is to find the Sage of the Wind Temple. I will remain here and continue to pray. You must hurry. And little man... Um... About Prince Kamali. Please watch over him for me. Well, King of Red Lions has put another one in a cupboard. Someone's got to stop this boat. He's lost another companion. <laughs> he doesn't even have anything to say. It's just, we must go. See you later, Medley. I got I got some new charts in there, didn't I? Let's open them on up. I have thirty-two of the charts. Uh, there's forty-nine total, yeah. Because there's one in every quadrant. I've only got about half of the C charts, believe it or not. Only found twenty-two. What happens when Medley runs out of oxygen down <laughs> I don't know. But we will pray for her. <laughs> it is all we can do now. Or food. Yeah, she doesn't have any provisions. She's in a lot of trouble. She becomes one of the skulls. No. <laughs> Oh, God. Okay. Uh, Dungeon 2. I'm doing two of them tonight. 
Just to prove I'm a gamer. But we've earned ourselves a short break, a short stop at Windfall. Little distraction. We've been doing good. We've been working hard. We gotta get check the post. See how the gang is doing here. We have one ladder. There it is. Cash on delivery. Oh, how you been, man? I gotta tell you, you really helped me out back there at the mail center. I appreciate it. I've been trying real hard ever since then, but my postman skills are still weak. I just can't seem to hit 22 letters. I doubt I'll ever be as good as you, man. So anyway, I've been hearing all kinds of crazy tales about you, and I figured I just had to write you a letter. Sounds like you're doing some pretty amazing stuff, man. You're great. You're awesome. You're the man, man. A little man. I could probably tell that I had no idea what to write, but hey, I figured the least I could... I could do would be to send you a letter of encouragement. So yay, man. Yay. Go, man, go. Go, go. Never give up. Never lose hope. Well, I don't make much. I'm sending you the wages I've earned lately. Just doing my part. Hope it helps. Really sorry I had to send this cash on delivery, but I guess that's the price of fame. Take care. Thanks again, boss. So, we only made 10 rupees from that. He's not earning much, is he? He's really struggling. You understand how I feel. Completely. How about a little test to see if you really do? Why don't you take a pictograph of the first beautifully round pale thing you can think of and show it to me? Show me something that's exactly the same as my favorite thing, then you win. I'll acknowledge that you understand the inner workings of my heart and mind. Quite a simple little riddle, isn't it? Quickly now, bring me the pictograph. Okay, so we just gotta take a picture of the moon. Beautifully round and pale, your mom. <laughs> no. No, it's not that. Okay, where? Where's the fucking moon? <laughs> oh, that's convenient. It's already a full moon tonight. Okay, and we gotta just run by this lad. Uh, trip on the steps. Uh, cause there's a thing this way. Alondi, thank you for a thousand bits. Hey, RT, I've been enjoying the stream a lot. Thanks for everything you do. Also, I hope you had a great birthday. Thank you very much. Fine night, isn't it? You know, this thing may look like a windmill, but it's actually a wind-powered Ferris wheel. It used to harness the wind's power to spin in quite a nifty manner. But we rarely get a favorable wind around here anymore, so it doesn't budge. Pretty sure it's not broken in or anything, though. So if the wind blew in the right direction again... We just have to hit the power switch out back to get it moving. Looks like a southwesterly wind is blowing right now. Uh, where's the power switch for this thing? Oh yeah, it's there. I remember this now. Uh, so it has to blow in the right direction. I think you're just supposed to interpret that literally and just make it blow right. As simple as that sounds. There we go. Nope. Uh, maybe it goes left? Yep. 
Maybe he just blows directly at it? He's gonna start a hurricane. <laughs> the island is torn asunder. <laughs> okay, yeah, just directly at it seems to have done it. Oh, that had to hurt. <laughs> Okay, so back through here. It's okay. You gotta stop rolling on the stairs. He's in a lot of pain. He <laughs> caps shattered. Fine night, isn't it? Oh, did you look at that? The Ferris wheel just started moving all on its own. Somebody must have started it up. Wonder who got the thing going again. Don't know who he, who it was or where he is, but he must have been one nice guy. Assuming, of course, that he is a guy. Well, seeing as how it's finally moving again, you should go for a ride while you have the chance. Jump into the gondola seats just around the corner from here. Trust me, little man. It's fun. He called me little man, but not because it's my name. He knows. In-game... Acknowledgement. Little man is canon. He's cannon. This is incredible. He watches your vlogs. He follows me on TikTok. Up we go. Oh, yeah, so you're supposed to do a thing here. Hang on. No? Is that not it? I, I'll go around again. I thought you were supposed to shoot it in the middle. I just missed. Great shot. I'll get it on the rebound. Give me a mo. Little man's gonna have a little snooze. Here we go. We're good. The lighthouse is on. And that reveals this chest. For some reason. Wielder of the flame and arrow. When you appear, the lighthouse signals shall return to, to light the seas at night. The Seer, J.L. Pical. No idea who that is. Down we go. Who hit these chests everywhere? I don't know. Oh wait, before we get that ladder as well. That chest. We also have to talk to the moon guy. You really love fracturing your shins. Well, they're broken beyond repair anyway, so it can't cause too much more damage, you know? Is this your moon? It certainly is the pictograph I'm looking for. The correct answer is exactly what you've shown me, the full moon. And requited love may have twisted me up inside. I can still find peace when I gaze at the timeless moon. And of all her phases, I particularly love gazing at the full moon. No, I caused you a lot of trouble, but thanks. Really mean it. I wanted you to have this for all your efforts. Just a little reward for easing the pain of it, this troubled heart. Here's some treasure. Supposedly there's a spot in it that marks where some sunken treasure lies. I don't have a boat, so I can't leave this island to go look for it anyway. Then I'll be asking the night sky to help you find the treasure. Best of luck! And I gotta hop in here. Because, uh, Chew Jelly Man. I think I have enough for him. Was it 15 or 10? 
Might not be quite enough. No, not quite enough. We're not ready to cook. Bear with me, Jesse. I gotta make jelly. There should just be a chest out here now, too. Oh no, it's not there. Oh, because the lighthouse isn't shining right now. It needs to be night again. Hang on. I hope it's still there. I hope I don't have to reset that. Oh. Excuse me. Reset that. Yeah, there we go. Is it possible for me to jump on top of that? No, it's not. I gotta, I gotta fly from the, uh, the mainland. Could have maybe used Beetle's boat. The windmill's no longer working now. Take our leaf. Hop across. Can't use the hook shot. I think the hook shot works on chests, yeah. There'll be another way to do it. Got another piece of heart. We still have, so we still have like I think 17 more pieces of heart to collect, which is mad. I I know that there's at least one more full heart that we'll get from a boss, and we have a dungeon marked on the map, so it makes sense. But there's a lot of them still out there. Boo! I want it, Joy. <laughs> You've had enough, Joy. Uh, have I gotten the paw print aisle in a while? No, I haven't. I, ne I never got to the bottom of it. Let's head over there. We still have time for that other dungeon, right? It's only turning 8 o'clock. I can do them both. Just you wait. What this treasure too? Excuse me, sir. Did you eat? I had food earlier, so don't worry. And I'll get something lighter. There you go, another piece of heart. One step closer. Okay, hop off here. Yeah, I, I don't think I ever got to the bottom of this place, did I? I was blocked by a lot of boulders. You did that temple super quick. I, I really remember that one. Just because of the light puzzles. Now, the next one I think is like the hardest one. I think I remember really struggling on it. Gonna do it. Did it. Yes. Don't know if there is a piece of heart or anything down in here, but we might as well check. Well, there's more money. We can hold on to that. Stock up on chew jelly for the winner as well. 
You ever need more of it? There's just so much down here. But will there be joy? I hope not. I've had enough of joy. This up. But joy hasn't had enough of me, apparently. God damn, everywhere. The, the game must assume that you won't work out the secret to find a joy pendants. Like, that's the only reason I can think of why they give you so many. I guess also because, like, a, a piece of the Triforce is related specifically to the joy pendants. So they want to make sure that you have enough. So that you're not stuck. The ledge there. What is that there? There's another ledge there. There's something up here. I don't remember this. Climbing. More joy? <laughs> I don't think it could be joy if it, Oh, it might be. <laughs> Please, anything but. I'll take it. I'll take it. There we go. His shins are okay. How many joy pendants do you already have? 42. That's having handed in, like, uh, so many of them already. Okay, uh, where is my boat? There we go. Get out of here. I can check that tower there, too, because there might now be something. Because I can destroy cannons. This one has no cannons, doesn't it? Okay, never <laughs> mind. Alright, let's go to the next island. Come on. Isn't there sometimes a reward to destroy those bomb ships? Uh, only if there's a gold one. I think there's a map specifically for the gold ones, too. Think. I can't remember how much stuff like the game will give you like a different map for. Was that the submarine that was really hard? Oh, I can't remember. Save it for the for the uh, comb through the world. There's one of them that was too hard for us to do. I think we got every other sub. Excuse me, sir. Okay, it's a bit breezy here. And climb forward here, into the air tunnel. There we go. Next song. I need I need to see the lyrics. Not a tricky one. I don't ask you to do these ones often, because <laughs> you'll forget. 
You learned the wind god's area. You're the new hero. I am Fado of the Kuki uh, Kokiri tribe. I know I appear to you as a child, but the eyes can oft deceive. I am a most esteemed sage. I've been praying here so that the power to repel evil will continue to be contained within the blade of the Master Sword. I was attacked by the evil Ganondorf, and this is what happened to me. You wish to return the power to your blade, don't you? In that case, look for the one who has the same instrument that I hold. Teach him the song that you just played. As you do, I'm certain the holder of the instrument will feel the blood of the sages awaken within his veins. The Wind Waker you, you hold was used long ago to conduct our sages when we played our song to call upon the gods. In those days, it was always the king who conducted for us. Please, tell the king that I will still play, even in the next world. He's outside if you want to say hi to him. He might care about you somewhat. He doesn't care about many people, but maybe. You know, like, you have bombs on you and a cannon. Mr. King, you could deal with that. You just choose not to. It's nothing to say to me. We gotta go pick up Makar. What if they gave, gave Little Man the Wind Waker and these songs to the Boke and DMCA his vlogs? <laughs> oh god, there's actually like companies like that do that or like offer some of those services on YouTube. They'll like reach out to you where it's like, hi there. Use my music, my licensed music for free. Don't worry, I won't copyright you. You can find the library here. It's like to just embed their tracks on all, across all your videos. Don't worry, it's okay. Nothing nefarious here. Cartoon villain behavior. Seriously. Okay, you remember the secret room from before? Way earlier in the game? Yep. This is where Makar is hiding out. Oh, little man, I haven't seen you in quite some time, have I? I'm surprised you were able to find me here. You wonder why I'm all the way down here. I'm practicing a new song for next year's ceremony, and I need privacy. Isn't any fun if everyone knows in advance what song I'll play. What, you can hear my song outside? Oh, really? Thought to send the waterfall would drown it out. Perhaps I should play a little more softly when I practice from now on. Why, is that a conductor's bat? Little man, are you a maestro? That's incredible. You're gonna conduct for me, little man. What kind of song is it? I can't wait to hear it. Please conduct. I think I've forgotten this one already. <laughs> no, we got it. Does it go something like this? Strange, why does it feel like I already know this song? He might be dead in his soul trap, but apparently Ganon lets him travel places, you know? No concussion music this time. It's just a wild hallucination. Little man. 
the sacred song that you've conducted has awakened me. I now know, I know myself now. I'm a sage of the Wind Temple. It's my fate to return the power to repel evil to your master sword. To ease the regrets of my ancestors. Oh, little man, please. You must take me with you to the Wind Temple. At somewhat musical knowledge, there is no way they should be able to follow his conducted. <laughs> God, I wonder if someone with like actual musical talent would follow the Wind Waker Batten songs just to see what they actually sound like. It's like, yeah, he this is what he's conducting. Here's what he's playing. It's just like it's just complete nonsense. Little man has little talent. <laughs> oh God, love him. He's not coming back from that one. He's not coming back. Oh God. Oh wait, do we pick up Makara? Is he on the boat? Hang on. Anyone see him? Oh yeah, there he is. Yeah, he's sitting tight. Let's let's drop him off. King of Red Lions has got a plan for you. Uh, he was gonna send you to the cupboard as well, apparently. Enjoy your freedom, <laughs> while it still lasts. None are safe from the cupboard. Boat is the true villain. He really is. Honestly, I've not much sympathy for him. Like at this point, like little man could just leave. Ganon's not his problem. Well, actually, no. Ganon's threatened to destroy the world and shit. Like, maybe it's kind of bad. Uh, but the boat's an asshole. Still, that's my point. Little man, as was the case with Medley, I have no doubt that Makara too has some special role to play in these events. Discovering that role is your duty. I'm certain that by cooperating, the two of you can overcome the dangers and pitfalls of this temple. Our newest companion. Come on, little man. Oh, Makara even. Look at him go. did it, Makar. An ancient evil has been unleashed on the world. Let's head on inside. Can we call Makar Littler Man? <laughs> yeah, that seems fair. That's very appropriate. Sorry, in the background, so, because I, I had to make, like, a tweet earlier, right, for, like, the, the magic event that I went to for my birthday. And I just saw, like, kind of one of the quote retweets for it as, Don't let him fool you, he was celebrating 1927, the year he was born. <laughs> God damn it, everyone's still calling me old. <laughs> Can't escape. Okay, welcome uh, to the Wind Temple. We got, we got some stuff going on here. Let's take over Makar's mind real quick. 
temple is as bad as the water temple in Ocarina of Time. It, this one is quite hard to navigate. Uh, Makara's special power as well. He can plant these trees. And they'll do various things. See? You get a chest. Don't be a joy pendant. Totally hit. Don't be joy. Much better. I don't even know if I need money for anything anymore. these two dungeons as well you can do them in either order I've almost never seen anyone do this one first of the two like even in my playthroughs I always do medley's one first I don't know why everyone saves this one to the very end might have an outlier here. This is a lot of people. But they could be lying. They might not even know, like, have the game. I prefer this dungeon over the Earth Temple. I, I think I kind of hate this one. I, I, I think it's just to do with some of the puzzles being very long-winded. Oh, okay, that doesn't work the way I thought it would. Long winded. I. Stop that. He's got to stand there. Dad too in chat. I see we have a fodder joining us on today's stream. <laughs> yeah, the hook shot's a really cool item to get from this dungeon. I think it's just maybe this one just sucks a bit. I think it's because of the iron boots. They're never really that fun of a, like a mechanic to use. They just kind of make you go slow. There's a lot of like getting knocked back in this dungeon for doing stuff wrong. There we go. Okay, what does this do again? Oh, that just closes it, right. Okay, Makar. Need the trees. His flying mechanic is way worse than Medley's too. He's also so little he can't even walk up the steps. Okay. There's the one. Kind of off for Makara to plant so many trees down here, because if you think about it, they're not going to get any natural sunlight, and they probably will wither and die. This place is going to be very dark at some point. We're going to be in a lot of trouble. Don't know where the light's coming in from right now, but I don't think it's going to be here for long. <laughs> Life finds a way. Okay. Uh, put him there. Yep. 
go back to my car. Can he do anything up here yet? No, you need the hook shot for this. Yeah, we'll just uh get him back down real quick. Hang on. Drop him off. You're good. This guy, I feel like, m makes a bit more sense to carry in relation to Medley. Because he's just so teeny. Kind of just fits here. They don't seem to have many leaves. Yeah, these trees are dying. They don't have long. Okay. Come on, Makara, this is all you. There you go. I love how he jingles. Yeah, it's, it's kind of cute. thought that this little shit would give rise to the main collectible in Breath of the Wild. Let's look at him go. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> well, see you later. Makar, please. Yeah, that's great. Ah, I got hurt. <laughs> He's actually just used the boomerang, don't I? I can bring like Forest Haven water just to kill some stuff in here again. That was such a cool little secret. I I never seen that in my life. I'm, I'm like really curious if there's anything else like that now. Don't leave the car there. Oh, he'll be fine. I don't think I can get him out right now, anyway. I, I I need the hook shot. He's in a jail cell. I'll pick him up later. I'm surprised I haven't got the map or anything yet. Don't forget the tingle statue. Yes, thank you. Okay, it's back here. Let's ignore Makara for a moment. Okay, it's down here. Of all places. So random. <laughs> keeps you on your toes. You got the wind tingle statue. It's sandy and kind of rough. It feels weird. <laughs> I think they all feel weird. Weird. I, there's never been a single statue where it's like, wow, this is amazing. Like, that's kind of awful. That's bad. So, that's the Fort Tingle statue. We only have the one on Dragon Roost left. How would you naturally find this statue? Like, it, it's almost impossible. It would have to be blind random chance in, like, in a legit copy of this game. Uh, the way you would normally get them is using, like, a Game Boy Advance plug-in thing for the original Wind Waker. 
But since that's not even a thing in this game, like, it's impossible. You have to console the guide. Didn't you say you were going to get the hookshot at the start of the stream with no sidetrack it hours ago? Look, I did a different dungeon, right? We're only at five hours into the stream. It's not that bad. I said we do two dungeons today, and I'm I'm keeping to my word there. We're getting two done. We might even do three. We we actually can't do three. To leave something for later in the week. But we're up. We're doing two. Like too many more rags is gonna be like, I'll finish the game tonight. Yeah! Just do everything. <laughs> I think the sword does more damage too now that it's upgraded. It didn't take as many hits. Yeah! Do that. Yeah! Let's get the boots. Don't be joy. <sighs> I'm so tired. I'm so tired. I've never been so demoralized by an item in a game. As I am with the joy pendants. Right, we gotta go on a bit of a trek here, I think. It's all a big flight puzzle. Hope everyone else is feeling joy. You guys can have that pendant if you want. Please, I insist, take it. Don't hit me! I already have enough joy, but thank you for asking. I got some joy earlier. I don't need any more right now. Okay, wind temple. Yeah, this is a big old room. It's actually not that many rooms. I guess there's a lot going on in that middle room. That's where a lot of the headache with this dungeon comes in. There's like so many spots where there could be like a tingle statue hidden here too. Do not run out of magic, please. I didn't even think about that. Stop off here. There we go. I gotta give you something to work with. Oh. Get out of here. I've actually decided that I'm incapable of feeling joy, but thanks anyways. Oh no. Y'all right there. You need, you need a hug. Opens up the floor below. Can I get in that room at the end yet? I don't think I could, could I? I think the goal here was to open that that floor. What's the chest here?
Chat collectively owns one serotonin. Oh no. As good as it gets. Okay, we got quite a few chests to get in here. There's a key there. Uh, if I just fall to the bottom here, the game's gonna have to give me a hook shot to get back out. I'm just saying. Can I put on the boots to break these, actually? Oh, this is dangerous. I can. It's like a half-finished puzzle in this room. Like, just, just slap them down wherever you can. That'll, that'll stop them. Some obstacles in here. Just confuse the hero, if anything. There we go. How do I get the other chest here? Because there is another one. Break every floor tile. Oh, okay. Can I break them with bombs? I'll just make it a bit easier. Alright, and like running 20 laps. No, you really gotta work for this. Oh, and this room's gonna gradually get worse with every time you go down. Let's see what's happening. Okay, let's uh, do a few laps here. Better give me something better than joy. Trying to see if I can just stand at the edge. No. Having none of it. Back up. <laughs> Stealth, thank you very much for the five gift subs. I hope you're enjoying the stream. Thank you very much. Oh, there we go! So it is possible. Saves a little bit of time. He's a hacker. <laughs> oh, it's getting real ugly down here. <laughs> just, just leave them to it. I promised Discord I'd give subs if I passed my driving theory test. I passed. A promise is a promise. Oh, well, congratulations to you. That's amazing news. And very kind of you to do, too. You shouldn't be giving me something for passing your driving test, you know? We should all be congratulating you. Thank you very much. Congrats to you. Hang on one sec as well. It's very dark. I gotta flick on a light. Hang on. He's just flexing on you, RT. Oh yeah, because I haven't got my driving theory test done. I see how it is. You 
You haven't, have you? <laughs> I feel very called out. Shutting the window. Ah, oh, God. Do you own a car? Um. They used to call me the Drift King back in college. I. I no, I don't know how to drive. <laughs> but that just goes to show that when I do actually take my theory and I learn how to operate a vehicle, you're gonna have to watch out for me. Be destroying everyone else on the road. It in the event that it's a race, because that's bad otherwise. <laughs> Drift into wall king. This is a unique wizard. Look, he's got a hat. Summon some friends. There we go. He's just gonna keep walking at me. Where's his friend? Okay, that really didn't go the way I wanted. Where are you? Can I just shoot you again? I don't know if that's gonna hurt him more. Deal with you. Dodged them. Now piss off with that. Where are you? Can't really do much else to it. I just kind of have to wait a lot. Although that last arrow really hurt him. We're good. And we finally get the hook shot. It extends, it retracts, it latches onto things. What a cool invention. Nintendo devs high-fiving themselves there. Very happy with this one. That's the last item that we need to collect in the game too. I think we have like everything. In terms of kit. She oh we're missing something there. What's that? I can't remember. Might be the completed Triforce. We might get something later. Can't remember what that one is. Oh, it's the mask! Yes! How do you get that one again? Is that the Joy Lady? How many do I need for her? Oh, no, it's that one. Yeah, okay. Right, we'll get that later. So there is one more item, but in terms of exploring the world, we have pretty much everything now. Which is wonderful. Now you use the hook shot. You can just latch on to shit. Uh, that, that's opened up, like, four different islands or something ridiculous like that. Just by having that tool. So good. I think I can just like hurt these guys with it too. Can I? <laughs> yeah, just Let's get him dead. A 
little imprecise though. I think the problem is it's just it's because of like where the thumbstick is. Or like the the, the, the command for it is like why. You only have one thing that's bound to a trigger, which makes it easier for aiming. I'm gonna rebind that. I'm gonna need that one. I need the leaf. I need the iron boots too. Ideal world, all the aim and stuff can just be bound to triggers in this. Okay, we gotta climb out of the pit, and then Makara has to jump back down here later. Is there anything on this level that I need to get? It says there's a door here? Oh, the door is below me. Right. Okay, let's climb our way out. We go. I don't think you get like the dual hook shots in this one. I think that's just Twilight Princess as well. That opens up so much cool stuff when you get that. Uh, we got that box. Can't make it. I can't make the next one. Do I just jump across here? Who yep. goes already on this one? Yep. Little man is stranded. Yeah, what's uh. Oh, I have to use the leaf to go across here, I think. I think that's what it wants me to do. Little man is a little soft lock. Oh, he's okay. Not gone yet. Oh. Gotta go to work. Wish you all the best. Have a fun time, little man. Thank you very much. Have a good time at work. I'm on my way from to Dublin from Toronto, Mr. Rumble Tumble. Where is my pizza? That sounds very menacing. <laughs> I'm coming to find you. <laughs> ah, I'm in danger. Okay, go around here. Have I been in this path before? Yeah, I have. I still need to actually bust Makara out as well, don't I? There's something up here. The hookshot will deal a little damage to him. Swore him away. So Makara's trees are now very handy. Because you can hookshot onto him. Yeah, I, I, I need Makar here. So I get up there. Yeah, I gotta go get him. There's nothing more by the entrance, no. Imagine graffiti on the spire. Where's my fucking pizza? I don't know how I'd explain it to the authorities when they're inevitably called. Oh, I did that wrong. Okay, I thought that was gonna fall off. Alright.
This is the one that falls. Stone, the stone that blocks the entrance seems extremely heavy. The only way you can move it, little man, is if you were to become as heavy as the great Deku tree himself. Oh, yeah, okay, so you gotta wear the boots. And now you beat the rock. That's how you get these ones off, too. This caused so much destruction. There you go, Makai. You're safe now. Thanks for the joy. <laughs> You really shouldn't have. Okay, I need I need to get my car over here. I think there was somewhere I had to take him in the previous bit. Oi! Go. Littler man, my baby. Let's get him over. He can control his mind again. Come on, little man. Littler man. Now stick with me. the new way to pay taxes. <laughs> At this rate. Oh, you're... You gotta stand out of the way of the spikes. You gotta stand out of the way of the spikes. Come on, little guy. Just fucking drop them. No, don't take them. I'm not particularly fond of them, but I need them. Littlest man is in trouble. Wonderful. We gotta backtrack a lot here. Get in there. You don't like Makar. I don't think it's Makar's fault. I think he's kind of cute. But he gets into a lot of trouble, and he's also like part of a quite slow dungeon where there's a lot of going back and forth between characters. Like, you have to control him a lot in this one. Compared to Medley. I think Medley's mechanic is just a bit more fun with like bouncing the light about. Whereas Makara's mechanic kind of means you have to complete a room twice. Like first it's him to get the trees and then it's yourself. And then you gotta go pick him up again. The boss in this one is way cooler, though, I think. We'll get there. That's some of the best music. Look at him go. <laughs> yeah, he's a cute little fella. It's just a shame that his dungeon's a bit rubbish. It's very long. But we're still gonna do it tonight. Oh, he actually comes in for the fight, too! Get him, Makar! <laughs> Mac 
Okay, you might want to back up. Thank you, friendly knight. A gamer posture has been acquired. Oh my god, this one's strong. Here's the big key. Give us your belts. I only have two fairies, so I kind of just have to wait till I die. <laughs> That's okay, though. Big key. He's learning violence. We're, like, teaching him his wet... Like, the ways of little man. Look, we're crouching down even to talk to him. Okay, Littler Man, we're gonna teach you how to use TikTok. <laughs> Baby's first vlog. <laughs> this is Parenting 101 in today's world. Uh, <laughs> don't exploit him. Littler Man, I'm gonna show you today how to floss. Do you play Fortnite, Littler Man? <laughs> Family vlog channel. <laughs> oh no. There should be child labor laws somewhere there. But there's not. <laughs> Let's take a picture. <laughs> Okay, uh, we need to go down to the basement. We also need to head up. All the way up. We're missing, like, a... We're missing a lot of stuff there, Jesus. What was the way to get go up? It was... Yeah, it's through there. You can see the arrow on the map. Okay, that's what I gotta do. Go through here. You can't, you can't hover with him, he's too small. Go, littler man. Let's control his brain real quick. Park him there. Be alright. There's a few guys up there to look after him. <laughs> Hang on, I'm coming! Uh, Snarkerite, thank you very much for the five gift subs as well. Thank you very much. You guys have been very so good to me. Always have been, but. It's important to say. Don't go into the blade. Thank you very much, man. Little man teaches littler man how to do the Harlem Shake. <laughs> oh god, there's an internet trend that came and died very quickly. Not heard that name in a long time. Stay dead for humanity's sake. Are you saying that's not the epitome of comedy? Nothing's happening. There's a lot of build up, and then suddenly, club scenario. Do the Harlem Shake. 
everyone's just jamming out and something wild and ridiculous has happened. Now that's funny. That's entertainment. You remember when, like, uh, Jimmy Kimmel did the Harlem Shake? God, what a riot of a moment. I don't know if he actually did, but he probably did. <laughs> because that's most it's TV presenters, sure, you know? No, because I intentionally forgot this. I have no idea if he did. Someone can check. Wait, little man! I think the hook shot you have could probably latch onto the trees. Oh yeah, we've, we've already established this. Don't worry, little guy. Just a bit conscious of all the fire here. He did the Fortnite dance, didn't he? Probably. He probably did. I wouldn't put it past any of them. Yeah, if you think it's a bad when I like ironically do like what's hip with the kids. I feel like that's half a late night television these days. Like almost all the clips I see. Cause like I do, I have like my old man bit that's like out of touch with like trends and technology, but that's like genuinely a lot of TV these days. Like I would not like there's pro there's uh, it's gonna be on one of these these shows was like, okay today we're gonna learn a uh, Fortnite dances, battle royale. That's what all the kids are doing. We're gonna, we're gonna floss? You know, it's kinda kooky. I don't know what's really going on here. And you move your arms like this, and then this, rapturous applause from the audience. And then this, and this, audience starts to applause, and rapturous cheering starts to emerge. Yeah! Okay, I think I got it, I think I got it! Thunderous applause, everyone on the edge of their seat. I'm right, aren't I? I'm right, <laughs> that's... That's how a lot of it goes. <laughs> you... You did. You didn't you explain that? Did Jimmy Kimmel whips and nays? <laughs> That's almost as old as the Harlem Shake there, I think. <laughs> Not heard those words in a while. <laughs> That's the future of RTK. Oh god. I think that's where I probably get like a lot of my old man bits and that. I used to watch like a lot, like I watched a lot of like Graham Norton show and then like some of the American ones would bleed over. And almost always when I see those shows, like that's just what it's like. Graham Norton's a bit nicer. There's like some actual funny moments. Just because Graham Norton's just a pretty good host. I like his commentary on Eurovision. It's funny. But there's so many I've seen. Or it'll be like a segment on the talk show, right? Okay, so today we're playing, uh, Elden Ring. Elden Ring, man. Makes me realize how long I've been married. Rapturous applause from the audience. <laughs> and they're like on the first boss of the game. And you have to like kind of sit back and just watch Jimmy Kimmel die repeatedly. <laughs> People are gonna think I have a vendetta against Jimmy Kimmel in particular or something. Like I... I've seen very little of his shows. It's just like he's one of them, ain't he? 
Maybe I should say James Corden, because most people, most people hate him. Apparently he's a gobshite. Car, you need to get out of there. <laughs> Makar, you need to get out of there. Oh, he's in a lot of pain. <laughs> okay, I got him. I'm coming, Makar. I got. God. James Corden is the worst. I remember one time with James Corden. They organized an Ask Me Anything uh, for him on Reddit that they then had to cancel because every single question without fail was some variant of why are you an asshole? <laughs> like every single one of them. And there was people just like constantly sharing stories like, yeah, like my dad met James Gordon. Prick. <laughs> they couldn't do it. Cause like literally every question was like that. <laughs> I've never seen like someone receive so much hate like without question. Like careers and acti- <laughs> Fucking big <car. laughs> Oh god love him, he's trying his best. <laughs> like career and activities, like apparently like, I've just been unaware of that. Like he's just like not a nice guy. Okay, hang out. He's coming back up. I don't have any personal experiences with James Gordon myself, but from what I understand, there's a lot of hate. It was his producer and just became a roast. People would ask, like, when I saw you at the restaurant, why'd you berate the waitress after you spilled your own food? I think, yeah, like, it was just, like, a bunch of questions like that. It was wild. There was like another Aspie ending that was weird that I remember. It was like Morgan Freeman, but like, not him. And like people found out that like it was just someone pretending to be him a while. Or like, there was, some, there was one weird one like that I vaguely remember. And like, like, I am this person, but I'm not. Ask me anything. <laughs> like someone pretending to be him. Oh god. Here in America, he isn't the best received person. See, I just know that. I, I, I. Don't I don't know much of like his character or anything like that other than people just hate him. That's what I know <laughs> Okay, this is the top floor here It's got to be some good shit here Is there not any hearts in this game? Uh, no, we're playing on hero mode So you don't get uh, find hearts in the wild, but you do find joy pendants. <laughs> you get plenty of those fuckers. <laughs> God Almighty! The ideal host for me for like kind of late night television and talk shows. And I'll defend this man till the end of time, because like he's he's my hero, but like Harry Hill. Harry Hill knows how to have fun. And I think he'd be perfect in more of those kind of roles. He's had like a few kind of vaguely, but it's like not quite the same spot. 
but he's just a wonderfully entertaining person. Harry Hill fanboy. I'll defend. I I'll defend him to the death. I have a signed copy of his autobiography. Got one for Christmas. He didn't personally sign it. He signed all of them, but I still got one. Who's Harry Hill? Uh, like like a uh, British comedian, basically. He does a lot of slapstick. You might know him as the the voiceover guy from You've Been Framed. Or older older yet from TV Burp. Bring it back, ITV. Well, no, he did, he didn't want to do TV Burp anymore. That's the thing. It was exhausting. <laughs> he wanted to move on from it, which is fair enough. Like he worked so hard in that show. Oh, but it was amazing. You've been framed before we had YouTube. Like, no joke! It's kind of what it was. Except on YouTube, it's more like you have a man in the corner kind of laughing at it. Whereas for like, You've Been Framed, they kind of just let the clips play. Laugh track, I guess, insert it. Maybe that's like the closest equivalent of like a reaction. Oh, well, I, I need a Macar for something here. Hang on. How do I get up here? Oh, I'm supposed to ride the fan or something, aren't I? I have to turn this thing on. Okay, Makara needs to get to the bottom of here. There were some trees down there. I got a signed copy of his kid's book. Lovely man when I met him. That's it. I, I've only ever heard good things. I, I, I would love to meet him someday. I, I am a big fanboy. I don't hide it. Harry, if you're there, if you're there listening, and you've spotted the cheeky Harry Hill emote we have in our ch my chat. Love your work, man. Please don't sue. <laughs> this is the first emote we ever had in this channel. Harry Hill. He was, he was, he was the, the original meme. Before we had like the, like the, I want die laugh, and like the fire I want die, and the gold I want die for the different tiers. That was fire Harry and gold Harry. But we did. Yeah, there he is. Okay, so the fan just kind of randomly turns on. Do I need to get my car all the way up? Oh, I might. Okay, I'm gonna check, because that's a long way to go. I'm just gonna see if I can hop off here. Oh, I haven't got much help. We're good. Yeah, I, I assume we're okay without Makar here. Go. We just got a poke. Very badly injured still. Come on. Ah, <laughs> uh, I, I, the death is fast approaching. Gamer posture. Stay alive. Don't you have fairies? They'll go off when I die. It's fine. If you're old enough to remember Cyclops Harry Hill, you deserve a badge. <laughs> it's a different time. Oh god. Okay, there's only one chest left. 
Down to the bottom. <laughs> Gotta go in here and not get like destroyed by the fan. There we go. Oh, he transports you back up. That's what that does. It's where's where's the door here? That's just it there. Okay, there's just no way to reach this apparently. No, that's not it. Where where the fuck is this door? Below me, apparently. <laughs> Gonna be a little bit of screaming. There it is. Oh, it's just on the other side. Down here. We're probably gonna need my car, aren't we? Oh no, this this is probably it. Uh, just climb them all. Thank God he missed. Ah, it was only a matter of time. <laughs> That's fine. Where is he? We got him. Okay, there's a switch over there. Up over here. Don't destroy that accidentally. Okay, there's something in this room too. I'm gonna guess it's for destroying everything. That's that's the wrong thing. Let's just burn out. Where are you? I got a little man. It's getting a bit precarious. This didn't do anything before, did it? Oh my god, I'm being destroyed. Get him gone at least. Get the other one down in the moat. Lots of bobs. Come on. Okay, where is this fucker? We're good. Okay, where's the chest in this room then? It must be behind one of these things. Maybe there's like a little switch or something you gotta flick. Ah yeah, there's still monsters behind them. That explain it. up here. Okay, 
Kill the little guys. Oh, it's the ones behind the sculptures I think I need. That's who I'm looking for now. There's one up here. Thanks for the stream art. Uh, stream RT, I really need some positivity today. Uh, no problem at all. Hope you keep them well. Hope you enjoyed our late night television. Laugh track! <laughs> Gotta get that in. Get good use. Our ratings go up every time it's played. We also found some joy. <laughs> Our ratings seem to decline whenever that's acquired. <laughs> Couldn't imagine why. The exact second you said laugh track, my dog started barking and it freaked me out. I'm so sorry. Is it just this one little guy? How? <laughs> They've never done that before. <laughs> oh, I guess they do now. Joy, here we come. Do I still not need Makar? Can I just like finish? No, no, I'm gonna need him here. Okay, hang on. Let me let me go back and get him. He's all the way back here. Okay, littler guy. Make your way down safely. Well, if you find an opening there, just squeeze between the blades. There you go. You're okay. Now we saw it. <laughs> Oh no, you know how you get like dried spice in that? In your cupboard. Here's some, here's some nice sage. How'd they make it? Mind you, there's a lot of enemies. Please, sir. There we go. Every time he cheats death, he gets stronger. <laughs> I don't know about that. I feel like he hasn't got as much life left in him. Having some trouble. There's no more chests, is there? No, it's not. You just gotta make it to the end now. Okay, go, littler man. Is it time to pull out the magic armor? Yeah, I should probably use it soon. Yeah, I have a lot of money that I'm not gonna spend. It might be an idea. If I get too low, I'll do it. Just sit tight, littler man. We're coming. Clear the way. I should probably just use the boomerang on those guys, shouldn't I? It kills them faster. I'm too lazy to switch the equipment. 
stuck in my ways. What happens if you die? Uh, you gotta make an embarrassing walk back to where you were in the dungeon. As a lot of people in chat make fun of you. It's humiliating. Stakes are pretty high. <laughs> we do. Okay, this is this is the last room. Gotta get through here. Okay, Makar, just stay put a mo. Just need to trap all these. I think you can make these glitch out real badly too. By pushing them in super far. <laughs> no, they might have fixed that. They used to clip more through the box, I think. We're gonna trap this one on the left. Go. Press it on in. I'm having a bit of trouble there. One more. Use one block to trap. Oh yeah, I, I I I think I remember that bit. Yeah, you have to because you have to drop one here. Don't worry. Just moving them gradually forward. My favorite artist. Just like the stuck spike block. Songs really speak to me. There we go. Okay, and now we move this one up. There we go. Grab. Okay, uh, that should keep that stuck. Put your back into it, little man. Can I say the B is sharp? Yeah, you've er you've earned that one. Please clap. I feel insane. I'm losing my goddamn mind. Okay, we're almost through. Just a little further. Very cool boss fight coming up. Take Littler Man with us now. To the very end. I'm a real comedian here, folks. I didn't realize, like, James Corden is in the Twitch chat. Goodness me. I'll take off the boots. I finally made it through. How insulting. <laughs> I'm so sorry. How is Makara supposed to live here with all these wind tunnels? The man weighs nothing. Uh, with difficulty. It's not my problem.
There's two fairies here. I shouldn't have used them both. Oh, but there's money too. Me. Nice. Okay, we'll be alright. Okay, come on, little Makar. Oh, he's not coming with. He's, he's had one boss fight already. It's enough for him. Okay. Banger boss alert. Right? You ready for this one? You want you want headphones if you can. Here we go. Sure, we didn't need it anyway. Here he is. Uh, is it the Molgra? The Molgara? Snakey boy, here we go. Pals. Oh! Wasn't paying attention. Let's take him to the skies. Okay, little man, you're doing amazing. <laughs> Don't get in. destroyed by the ads. They just keep gunning for me, yeah. I think they're the hardest part of the fight, honestly. Because they distract you. Like, he does so much damage, too. Still it. Good fight. It's such a fun one. The music is so good for that. I love that fight because like it's just a battle. Like you just gotta go for it. And there's just shit happening at you. Dune has been defeated. The spice will flow. Okay. 
Get another heart. Oh, look at that. We only need four more. No area map. I want to see. How many pieces do I have at the moment? So I need 16 more pieces of heart. Well, heart containers. Praise be to the sandworm. <laughs> We have everything. The car is here. Part two was surprisingly short, but still Oscar worthy. <laughs> Christian Bale's done it again. He played the sandworm. Is restored. I forgot to turn the light on. The Master Sword is returned. Its blade once again houses the power to repel evil. The sword of the one true hero is revived at last. Little man, I have fully restored the power to repel evil to your Master Sword. And my ancestors are most satisfied. I shall continue praying to the gods here. Little man, please step into the light and return above ground. May the winds of fortune be at your back. It's not as sad when you abandon v Makar in the cupboard, is it? Like, Medley's like, watch over Kamali. I'm sad I have to leave this behind. Makar's just like, right, see ya. <laughs> I see, so the Forsaken Fortress is already like a molten snake that casts off its dead skin. The place is so empty and quiet, one can almost hear the echo of dead leaves fall into the cold, cracked ground. Why, what ails you? What? Lose the long face. The monsters are gone from the world. Doesn't that make you a little happy? The car was ready to go to the cupboard. He accepted his fate. Little man, I have trouble in news. Ganon has not shown himself above the sea since Valu unleashed his fiery, fiery rat upon him. And what's worse, there is not a creature stirring in the base, his base of operations in this world, the Forsaken Fortress. I cannot imagine how it is possible, and yet I cannot shake this foreboding feeling I have about the Princess Zelda. Little man, we must search for all the Triforce shards so that we can head back to Hyrule without delay. I mean, we have most of them. <laughs> We're doing pretty good. You still didn't deal with that boat, did you? You had one job while I was in there. Oh, great. Now he's trying to kill us. Fucking fantastic. Hate this guy. I never realized how much of an asshole the boat is. Till this playthrough. The amount of times he just, like, withholds information and puts your friends in cupboards. He's not doing anything. Ah, oh, God. Okay. Uh, I think... On that note, we're gonna wrap up there for the night. Uh, Kenobi, thank you for a thousand bits right at the end there. Thank you very much. I think we're going to leave it there. I think that's a good point to call it. Uh, but thank you so much, everyone, for coming by the stream tonight. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, we're going to kick off uh, tomorrow at the same time that we did today. Uh, I really want to try and finish Wind Waker this week if I can. So we're going to start again at 3 o'clock. We're going to start combing the entire world. That's the goal. You said three dungeons, Dad. I've I've done them all. There's only the final dungeon left. We're not doing that tonight. Ah, oh, God.
god. But yeah, we're gonna start combing the entire world. We have to find the pieces of the Triforce. We gotta find all the remaining heart containers. We have every bit of equipment we need now to explore the entire world, which is so good. So it's like side quest central from now on. It's gonna be great. Uh, thank you to everyone who gave bits. Thank you to everyone who subbed. Thank you to the mods forever, as ever, for being on hand. Uh, if you want more to watch from me, there's all the super cuts that have gone up the last while. Uh, we're a bit slower on the upload front just the next, like, like this week, really. Uh, just because, like, the next thing coming is going to be the Wind Waker super cut. That's, like, being gradually worked on. I've been a bit slower. It's been, like, about one video a week. But, like, the pace has honestly been kind of nice. Like, I've had a bit of downtime. I'm actually kind of thankful for that. I hope people understand there. Um, th there should actually be an influx of, like, probably some videos on YouTube so people have stuff to go back and watch outside of the stream soon. Just because the, uh... Next week is, like, a packed release schedule. Uh, I think I've mentioned, like, everything that's coming up before, but, like, Nintendo Switch Sports, uh, Bug Snacks DLC, Stanley Parable Ultimate Edition, like, there's, like, three just big things next week. Uh, we'll be playing everything. So, like, after Wind Waker, like, we, there's just so much shit that's just out. Uh, we're gonna be playing it all. Cannot wait. What about G Force? <laughs> I'm sorry, but G Force is not scheduled for next week. It's not on my radar currently. I'm so sorry to disappoint all of you. Currently, it's like, so you're saying there's hope. I'll answer this as like a politician would to avoid any question, like answering a question. Like, I have no, I have no plans as of this time. I have no scheduled G-Force content. Not next week, but next, next week. <laughs> People are just gonna be staring longingly at the stream notices every time he goes live. It's like, when will my G Force return from the war? <laughs> when will he play the game? I've waited so long, Daniel. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, Julie's doing art. She's in the next room across. You'll probably hear me walk past her in a minute or two. Uh,. Go say hey, send her lots of love. Uh, she's making Animal Crossing villagers, which is very sweet. Yeah. Thanks for coming, folks. I'll see you all tomorrow. Uh, three Irish time. GMT plus one. More Wind Waker. Take care.